All right, guys, welcome, welcome back to the IMAX YouTube channel. I'm your host, JD. If you're new, please do smash that like button, share, and definitely subscribe. And for the members that have actually subscribed as a member, make sure to keep on sharing the contents far and wide. We really and truly appreciate it. So we just did a short video talking about Omari Hutchinson. We wanted to deep dive in it. And because of that and previous situations, I wanted to talk on that situation, all right? And oh, it could be impactful and oh, maybe what we complained about might actually turn about, turned, uh, turn to something that we have to rely on, all right? Yes, so make sure to smash the like button, share and subscribe. I'm out in the backyard relaxing and um, chopping up a few things. So hopefully we could chop it up together. But let me get through my part first and then we can move into the best 11 because today I went on J Taylor's channel, tried to set me up a few times. Yes, <laughs> but we are going to be discussing it. So let me give um, Kevin um, Jones a big up, big up yourself. Thanks for being here. All right, guys, as you know, as you come in, hit the like button because that's how people know that we are live. Um, that best car, big up yourself. Thanks for being here. Then we have Island Car to the building. Then we have Chris King says, Blessings, JD. My peer, my smash. Okay, once you smash a like, no problem and you can always we can chop it up you know yes float management in the house so anyways omari hutchinson they are considering to put him on loan right they are considering to put him on loan for three clubs middlesbrough uh middlesbrough west bromwich and um i i talked about it in the next video but three clubs and also the option should still be on the table before chelsea right so i asked persons what uh what he should do in that video. So that video is by itself. But the in, the situation is, we had previous years when a lot of players said that they couldn't come due to the fact that um, they are dealing with issues, personal issues, and personal issues like contract, i.e. contract, um, a, a few years ago. And we usually complained. But on this roster, and this roster listed, which I'm going to, going to go through, now, on this roster, we have a few players that's going to be dealing with contracts. So even if they do have papers, they still have um, the issue of the actual contract as well, guys. All right. So I'm just saying, let, let me let me land, let me land, let me land. So because I'm going to name the players that um, has contract issues. All right. Yes. So um, when they do have contract issues, guys, um, it's easy. Well, um, them can be pushed aside as in their their mind their mind not on it and sometimes they would ask for time so it would not be it would not um it, you could you should not say oh they don't they are not committed or anything and that still leads back maybe that's the reason why they, they added 50 people on the listing that could be a reason as well let me know if you guys are hearing me well because um it's the first time i'm doing it um outside yes let me make sure to tell people that i am live um so they could join all right one second one second i'm hoping i'm making it um clear enough for you yes and then let me go for the listing of players so we can chop it up um all right so we have a few more people dropping um our brother um dj gigs big up yourself thanks for being here owen owen in the chat chris smith um the captain in the building all right, for you, you know, kept it from Owen, Owen and Chris Smith here. Uh, notifi notification out, you know? Yes. The 23 players for Gold Cup out yet? No float management. No. Um, but we are looking at the best 23 on this listing. Remember, you cannot change no player of this listing. So this is what you have. And this is what you have to work with. So the players that we have um, on this listing, let me go through it. You have um, Corey Adai, which is a goalkeeper. Um, Colin Anderson, which is a forward slash central um, attacking midfielder, sometimes can deploy on a wing area as well. Big, fast, and strong. Yes, Mikel Antonio, which you know about me. me uh, Wizard, yes, we are good. We are good. Thanks very much, man. I'm just outside um, doing the video. All right, no problem. Uh, JD, just shave your head. What? <laughs> Why you don't go away? Why you don't go away? You, you're just so unnecessary. We're talking football here. And I'm going to drop the link soon so people can come on and have the conversation. All right? Um, 
Luke Badley Morgan, which is a center back, he does not he, he never played much games uh, this this year. He had some injuries, or, or a injury um that um had him out for a while. So I am not hundred percent sure why he made this list to be honest, you know? Yes. Leon Bailey, which you know Leon Bailey, I don't have to explain him. Um Amari Bell, um a left back, which I think he's getting much, much popular um um inside of Jamaica because of his performances and obviously he's in the Premier League now. Um until uh, I he's in the Premier League because he's still on um the Arasta. All right. Deshaun Bernard, um a personnel that signs with Manchester United. Um he's down in League One at this point, played in championship I think as well. Um but the the Manchester United still don't know what to do with him. So with Tenag being there now, maybe some things could be improved on. Um, but you have to give it time. All right. Um, Andre Blake, everyone knows Andre Blake. He's the captain for Jamaica. Connor Boyce Clark, um, it was the captain for the, the youth under 20s. He played a few times. Uh, he, played in, uh, he played for his team, which is Reading, um, U21s. Um, he's one of the main players and he stepped up once they got relegated um, for the final match in the team itself. And they, they, they tried to work on a contract for him. So, so they have him in their close, close future. All right. So he's a player that Jamaica desperately wants um, to staple down that center back, uh, you mean that goalkeeper um, position. All right. Javian Brown, right back. Corey um, Burke. Um, wing forward to wing to to me central forward, which um central forward is his main position. Um, Atafara by grave a striker as well. Um, just a pure striker, pure number nine. Ronaldo Cifas a winger and also a striker because he's playing a striker role at his club. Um, Fitzroy Cummins, um, should be a centre back, and some of these centre backs can play out wide um areas as well. Yes, but he's a centre back. Um, Junior Flemings. Junior Flemings is a winger, a, a right and left midfielder, and sometimes can play as a striker as well. All right. More likely, his main role is right and left midfielder. To be honest, all right. Um, guys, the list. This is this is the sixty, the fifty pool list. I'm just reading out and give you the information. Talk about um the situation that happened over and over. Uh, as to the reason why they could be naming more players because maybe they expect players to legitimate, legitimately um, not be available. All right? Yes. M yes, that's what I'm trying to say here. But let me continue. Guys, as you come in, smash up the like button, share, and subscribe. All right? Um, Kemar Fasta, um, Ian Free, uh, which is one that we talked about. Um, I am still doing some scouting on him, uh, which is a midfielder, back-to-back um, -back midfielder, um, can put in defensive shifts. So he could de deploy as a defensive central, but they are not using defensive centrals. All right. Um, Omari Hutchinson, we just talked about him. Uh, wing forward, um, Cam. Wing forward and Cam. Wing forward, winger and Cam. All right. Damara Gray. Um, wing forward, um, winger and Cam as well. All right. Um, Daniel Green. Um, winger. Can play as a striker as well. Yes. Wesley Harden, um, right back, um, right midfield, centre back, yes, and um, right wing back. All right, yes. So he plays a lot of position. Uh, Michael Hector, centre back, and um, defensive central. Um, Daniel Johnson, um, central midfielder, um, Cam and central forward. So he plays a good amount of position as well. Richard King, centre back. Amal Knight, a goalkeeper, Kevin Lambert, Lati Bodier, Kemar Lawrence to finish off that list up there. And then you go down here, Gregory Lee, Dexter Lambakisa, Damien Lowe, Jamal Lowe, Adrian Maria for Ravel Morrison, um, Shaman Nicholson, Oshien Staple, Kahim Paris, Damir, Damaria Phillips, Ethan Pinnock, Alvas Powell, Bobby Reed, Dujan Rich Richards, Kemar Roof, Jonathan Russell, Splat, Chavante Stewart, Richard Thomas, Jamal Lewitt, La Lamar Walker, Devon Williams. All right, let me get into the players now. JD, your son need treble. It's like a woofer. Okay, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Maybe it's a headphone. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. All right, yes. Big up Cass, uh, one gym. Brian Burke, big up yourself. All right, yes. So let me, let me get into it now. Let me get into the chopping up now. 
All right. So the players that we have on the listing that will be um looking for contracts, Adrian Mariapa on this list. Um, he had a temporary contract or a short term contract. Um, so he's one that will be uh, looking for um, um um a club or an extension. So I don't know if he's going to take extra time to start out that, and maybe because his season ends, um, he could take take that time to start it out. So maybe that will work um for him. All right. Um, Omari Hutchinson on the list. Um, he has that situation. Um, Bishan Bernard has that situation. Wes Harding has that situation. Lati Bodier has that situation. Um, Ravel Morrison has that situation. So you see what we're talking about, guys. Look how much players um will be having um contract um con conversations. You understand me? So um, the, when, when I'm looking at the 50 and really analyzing everything, I could see a few of these guys might be busy. Um, the only person that has long season would consider to be um, Mikel Antonio because Mikel Antonio's season, um, I think it's tomorrow the game will be played. So tomorrow um, that will be his final game. So he's the only one that you, you can say re realistic football side, like football playing on the field side, but others has actual problems all right like contract problems to start out so um me seeing the list having so much players i could say that yeah it might be um because of that reason you know um because a few of them these guys might be tied in the contract issue and sometimes contract issues you have to show that you're really if, worst if you're not one of the top players there you have to show that you're committed to the task you understand me yes Owen Owen said, hope Antonio makes it um to the Gold Cup. He should, he should, and even and even if he he doesn't make it to the, the trips in time, he can still make it to the Gold Cup and um be a part of the squad just the same. I don't think Antonio's um uh, players of Antonio's caliber um should be troubled by if he doesn't make the, 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 the trip to um to to um what you call it to to Austria, all right. I don't necessarily think so, all right. Uh, would be good to see um him rocking up um the Concacaf um goals um before he, he retires. I do believe so, and I would love for him to do so because I think he wanted to play these games to really showcase what he could have done. I I, I honestly believe so, all right. I honestly believe so that he wants to do so, all right. What I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to drop the link for the video. So persons that wanted to come on in, in, in the conversation of the best 23, because I can't, today people complained, um, people complained. Let me try and get the, get the link, Let, get the link so people can come on. Because as, as you know, we're not going to spend the whole day. As you know, we don't go over two hours because I think two hours is a, a good amount of time. And um, by that time, the sun might gone down down and i might need some assistance so that is the link i don't know if i can pin the link here no i can't pin the link so that's the link um to join all right so anyways um the goalkeepers now the goalkeepers let me just get straight to my goalkeepers because i am setting minds you know i'm setting my minds because person said that chef and the stewart jt built this video around chef and the stewart all right chef and the stewart and 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 oh, he should make the team. I explained my point to say that sometimes, uh, uh, let me see, let me explain to you what I've realized about the fan base. The fan base is so, uh, no, no, they don't release the U23. That's why I said I'm, I am giving mine, all right? Uh, I am giving my, the Jamaica's best 23, all right? Yes, Lanza, big up yourself, and uh, Wanda, and big up yourself, all right? I'm giving my best 23. But let me, let me just explain that part because maybe I never got the chance to explain it properly. And J. Taylor don't give you an opportunity to explain it. He just run with, with what he wants. All right. So all I'm saying is a player can have um, one attribute that he's ridiculously good at. You understand me? And it could complement the team much, much better than a player that have uh, maybe every, uh, all around game, but you have other pieces that you could have filled in for him. So for instance, if you have a winger, um, that you think is as an all around game and is better than him. So, for instance, it, it, like for instance, um, look in the wing areas, you will have Bobby Reed, Leon Bailey, Jamal Low um, as the main one, and then you will bring in Omari Hutchinson. So that is pretty much four, 
four uh four pl players so far and i'm missing one person damari gray five so that's five five players that you're pretty much not questioning question questioning who you can find better than them right you're, you're pretty much can't question right um so um all i'm saying then if you have those five players then now you have the cephas you have the um um Kayim paris paris is of this world um coming in but because up front you would have had uh, Mik Mikel Antonio, Shamar Nicholson, and Corey Burke as the three strikers right there. Um, the, all I'm saying is, if it comes down to one position, you could see a man because you don't have any target power. Power. You you don't have any target power. You could say, all right, then Andre Gray is not there. Chevan De Stewart would be the one that I would have brought on with on with the team. You understand me? So that's what I'm saying. So even though I think Karim Paris is better than Chevron Stewart, because we have so much stacked wingers, I could substitute um, Paris or Cephas for that Chevron Stewart role. So um, that's what I was saying. And I heard all the whole place mashup, World War 50 start. All right. Lance, the big up yourself. Thanks for being here. The link is in the chat if you want to join. Um, no, they don't. No JPL, no USL, no passenger, no whisper. Only, uh, only to um, practice, only the practice matches. All right. But that's what I'm saying is, um, <clears throat> I am just saying, look, you can, look, that, they had said it one time, you know, they had said it at one time. Majority of the failures in Jamaica, um, football is to majority of the persons that only works on one skill. So you do can find people in Jamaica that has one skill. All right, like one skill over the top that it could it could it could evaluate on the same scale as anybody else. Like in a, any other league, like in in a Belgian league. So his strength could play in a Belgian league, but the rest of the other attributes cannot match to the Belgian league. That's why they are they have not made it. It's not like they are just bad in everything. The Jamaicans are blessed with physical attributes. You understand me, Kalinquis? So that's why that conversation came about. Let me start. Let me start with my list because I don't want this to go down the wrong route because I'm already seeing it so far. Let me start with my list. At the back, I'm going to stick with the three goalkeepers that I had before, which is Andre Blake. Andre Blake is still the number one for Jamaica. Um, Connor Boyce Clark. One, uh, he's, he, he re ups, so everything should be okay. And he's at his club at this point, unless someone else sees him. All right. Too much of your um, guys talk. Too much. Uh, B. Douglas, so if you don't want to talk, you just get off the channel. All right. Yes. So just leave. All right, because you make no logical sense. Just leave, all right? Yes, and just leave YouTube as well, too, because you're, you're not relevant, all right? Yes, simple. Let me move on. You always come with certain things. Now, it doesn't matter what. When it's overseas to foreign, you have a problem. When it's everything to everything, then stay in your house and watch your kids them or watch your schoolwork or something. But go do something else with your life. Simple, because it look like you don't have a life. Simple, man. Um. Anyways, um... Let me continue and, and do it with our man thing. Um, the third spot would have to go back to wait. All right? The, the third spot would have to go back to wait. Um, and so I, I would... One second, one second, guys. One second. Mm -hmm. I'm actually live, you know. So, let me call it back after, please. Uh, um, blessings, Ames. How are you doing, man? Hope all is well. Yeah, man, King Jamie, I have to diss them, man. You know why? Because they come on, on specific people channel. Um, listen to me. I deal with football here. Uh, you're not going to... If you want to go and talk about the, 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 the dungeon name in Jamaica, go in a dungeon name and talk about that in Jamaica. I'm not the time for that. I'm only going to talk about football. So you don't have the education to football, so don't come here. All right? Yes. Simple. 
and we are going to only talk on football. So we have something to talk about. We are going to talk about it simple. Anyway, so thanks all the seeing people em, that comes here. But you always have some of the mad people from Jamaica that comes on the stream from time to time. So we have to deal with them that way. All right? Yeah. Um, Jason said, um, yo, um, JD, what well, go on? Big up. I am here, man. I'm here just talking about some football. And it surprised me. I am talking about football. And this dude come on my channel uh, trying to disrespect people on my channel. And he always seems to do it. So I have to make him know him in space. Yes, because he's irrelevant. Um, Damien, for McGregor, big up yourself. Thanks for being here. Massive respect. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um, like up the live as soon as I come in. Um, at least we're talking about football. And uh, my channel name, I Max is Football. So I have to max out football because that is the actual duty um, um, that I'm here for. You get me? Nothing else. I don't care about nothing else. You can make up all sort of story, fantasy, drama. I don't care. It is football. I had a conversation today and I'm back to talk about that conversation and talk about actual updates as well. All right? Yes. Yeah, so that is what I'm on. So if you have anything, if you don't have anything to start to the, the conversation, you know, you know, you're there. You get me? Yes. JD, uh, JD bless myself, man, bro. Man, they want you come on your platform with delusional information. Yeah, I, but that, that's not me. So it's not going to ever happen, you know? Um, active, active. Big up yourself, um, Eddie Guna. Massive, massive respect. Yeah, man. So anyway, so do, those are the three goalkeepers. Those are the three goalkeepers. All right? Those are the three goalkeepers. Um, yeah, Wells, we just start, started to talk about Chivante. And, um, and let me educate that, that idiot that just came into my chat. I am doing coaching, all right? Yes, I am actually studying coaching. So when I come here actually talking about football, uh, it's thing that I am working out in my own head, all right? I just apply it to Jamaican football, yeah? So I don't just come here and talk on football, if you never know. Because people like to talk about their CV and what they, they have done. So, well, me, I am studying that as well, yeah? So that's why I stay in football. So don't come back on my channel and, and make no more um, speech. D just don't come back with no other um, um, subs um, wait, what you call it? Comments? I, because I'm going to block you again. So move up. Clown B. Douglas. Uh, anyways, um, let, me, let me continue. So the, the three goalkeepers, everyone okay on that. So that's three spots off. All right? Yes. And I, I don't think it's necessarily best goalkeeper, go, goalkeepers, I mean, because um, um, Connor Boys Clark still um, has a lot to do um, to get to the highest level, but obviously shows potential and he's at a good level at this point. So even though our goalkeeper pool is enough, it's still not, not necessarily the highest quality because Connor Boys Clark wouldn't get into it if it was the highest quality. Connor Boys Clark will get there someday and he's working hard to get there. All right. Martin, big up yourself, man. I, I, I did. But let me drop the, sh the, the link again so the, the man can come on if they want. Yes, because the one JT has set me up today. I, I'm only using the phone, you know, so because I'm out here relaxed, you know, you know. Um, no, make a, no, 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 man, no, 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 man. No, man, I had to diss that boy, man. Because, uh, uh, some of them like to start when you start talking about something else and it brings them down and brings, brings down their feelings. They said that you need to. You need to um you need to talk off about something and then now I'm here um working with football, then they have to change it to something. Because that's all they do. They don't have any content, so or they don't want to listen to any um footballing content, so they try to drum up excitement and drama because they're that fool, you know. Um I Max it um uh, would like to see your starting eleven. I'm gonna get to the starting eleven as well. Good point, good point, because I'm going to chop up that. So those are my three goalkeepers. I explained the, the selection, the reason for the selection. All right. Um, best 23, um, goalkeeper Blake, Wade, Clark, Lord Dexter, Arden, Lee, Bell, Pinnock, Joel, um, Bobby, Amari, DJ, Splat, Ravel, um, Gray, Burke, Shamar, Antonio, and Low again. Um, goalkeepers, I fully agree with that one. All right, yes. I can't pin the link in a guy. So if the, if you can't jump on the link, that is it for you because that, I, I dropped it two times. That is enough. You have to find figure out a way how to get it back because I'm outside and I can't get it done. Um, I am I am in DR on vacation. Very nice food. All right, love that, love that, love that. I might can take that up one day. Um, Colin Quest. So, anyways, let me move on to the midfield, the defensive side now. 
because that is three, all right? The defensive side, the two players, we know that the two players took those spots, which is, which is, um, which is, um, Pinnock and Low, all right? I would say the same thing as what I just said about um the set the 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 the, 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 the um I would say the same thing as to what I've said about um all right let me put set this set this layout first because um yeah can make me small JD come yes I I, I, I will make you small yeah, because yeah. yes you are no, on. If, when my when my camera turn on you can switch which one small yeah, no I can't switch switch you know I am on my <laughs> phone it's hard to do Jason <laughs> so the goalkeeper Jason the goalkeeper <laughs> I didn't say bless up JD bless up yourself don't trust well either he's one of them oh god lord i don't know i'm just so tired all i do is just come here to talk football that's all i want to do you know just talk football and explain my kids so for the goalkeepers you, you said you're okay with that one jason yeah i have no issue with the goalkeepers um the i guess one could say you know in terms of where the level they reach in their careers you know Corey Adai might be in the top three but i agree that you know you want to have a succession plan and so you know, you want to be integrating, especially in the goalkeeper position. More than likely, only two of them will actually play. And maybe only even one of them will play. So it's okay to have the third goalkeeper being somebody that is just gaining experience. So I have no problem with Boyce Clark getting the third spot. And I agree that the top two would be Blake and Witt. All right, all right. So Jason, agree with the top two being Gray, um, Gray and... Uh, no, Blake and Witt top two all right so if you have anything different in the goalkeeping department let me know for the center box now i would have took four center box um four center box it looks like others joining the stream or oh, this martin all right good so we have our team of people here so martin all right so martin because what you said mal need to try convert to martin <laughs> we're gonna chop we're gonna dissect marlon today in this one here so and the one jt you know, because JT out here talking about Jordan and a team and all sort of madness. I don't know where JT get this madness from talking about Jordan is no team. You understand me? But anyways, we are going to leave that for the next part of the show. All right, as you're coming, guys, we have 78 in the house. Let me see if we are on 78 or 79 likes. I know 80 likes. Let me see if I'm on 80 likes. All right, so I could know if things going on here. Uh, one second, guys. Let me check the likes. Um, because let me see if I find 80 likes. Jenny, because... just a moment, me so far away back here. Yeah? Uh, no problem, no problem, man. Take your time, take your time, guys. We are we are not on 80 likes as yet, so please get the likes up on the video so we can get the visibility. If we are not on 80 likes, YouTube will tell tell them that we are no good. All right, yes, when we are running football channels, all right, and we are talking football. So, anyways, um, center box, um, DMLO, I put DMLO in the same category as no, 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 let me just name it DMLO and Pinock. My first two, if 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 um B Bernard's papers um because I see if Bernard can play for Jamaica, I see him as one of the future centre backs. Them <laughs> like immediate future centre backs, uh centre back. I literally think that he could be the person partner in um, Pinock very soon. Out of almost everybody, um, ex if Latibody or get the right back spot over Lam Lembekisa. <laughs> You, you hear Jason? Yeah, man. I, I agree there. I think, um, you know, the, 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 I, I would rather break it down maybe in defenders because you know that this team going to have so many like hybrid centre-back, right-back. So, okay, so, so how much defenders we carry in? All right. So my squad makeup, right? So you have the three keepers and you need 20 more. So I would say I would want to go with eight. Eight, eight. Okay. So name your eight them, Jason. All right. So my eight defenders would be um, Ethan Pinnock, Damian Lowe, Deshaun Bernard, Wes Harding, Joel Latibodier, Dexter Lambikisa, Amari Bell, and Gregory Lee. That would be my eight defenders, right? Okay, there. okay. And I and I agree with your eight. Um, hands down, you know. Obviously, um, I was trying to integrate other people, but I will say that at the end, I agree with your eight. Um, uh, yeah, I have no. No issue with the eight. I will go with that eight instant. All right? Yes. 
Um, yeah, um, uh, Amari Bell. Um, no, Andre, hear me. Hutchinson, Hutchinson. Um, some clubs trying to sign, to sign him on loan. So we had to ask if that is the right decision to do uh, or to go with because you have a new manager in Chelsea and you have to, you're, you're wondering what's up because why would you not stay when they have to sell 12 players, you know? So I'm just asking the question out there. I put a separate video for that and then I came with it. But on top of that now, sometimes when these players are dealing with um, contract issues, it kind of take up their time. And that might cause them not to come to the Gold Cup and then people say that they are not committed. So I had to put that out there to make people know that sometimes people are busy doing a contract and, and trying to, worse if they are not at the front of the queue, um, they have to stay and kind of do over the, over the top things to make sure they get in. So that was the conversation. All right. Um, no, there is not a discard, but the link is in the chat, J. Taylor. The link is in the chat, all right? Um, Joseph says, um, I think Ian Frey has to make the team as a CDM. We shot in that position and he has been playing in midfield for Inter Miami. He plays 90% and we need bodies in that position. But I heard that he was injured. So what is the truth? Yeah, he, 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 he has been out for the last two seasons with an ACL. He, he came back from his ACL last year and did it right back again. And he's finally now back to farm. I mean, back to fitness at the start of this season. And they took the time. I think they played about eight or nine games. And then by the 10 a.m., he started to get games, right? And since he has come into the team, um, he was initially coming off of the bench and playing either right back or CDM. And for the past two games, I think it is, he has actually started. And I know he actually scored a goal in the last game. So... Okay, um, okay. When we got to the midfield, you would hear that I have yeah, yeah. him there, yes. Yeah, man, we're going to figure him. So we we eight, eight, mid, eight center back, eight, eight defenders and three goal, goalkeepers. So we have 11 players. We have a person on the live. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Hello. Um, You click the link, but you, you don't. You're not saying anything. We're trying to. Okay, so I don't know the reason. People, please don't click the link. All right. Yes, please don't click the link. If you don't know how to use this card, uh, no, our, our stream yard, if you don't know how to get on the, the thing, you don't click the link, all right? But if you um, it's a mistake and you don't know how to use it, um, exp let me know in the chat and then I will, I will guide you towards that part, all right? Yes. Um, I saw a few clippings. He looks like he has potential, all right? I don't think one JPL player will make that 23. Well, let, 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 let me finish up. People don't stop bullying down the thing, man. All right, we're going to midfield now. Midfield, J J J J you mean JT La <laughs> Um, <laughs> We're going to midfield, um, um, Jason. Midfield. All right, midfield. So, so, so midfield again, um, I, I would say that I'm probably going to go with eight midfielders. And some of these in some lists might be listed as forwards, but I'm just going to put them in the midfield, right? So my eight would be this. Um, DJ, Ravel, Jonathan Russell, um, Omari Hutchinson. Uh, what's that? Four. Um, then I would say, uh, who am I not saying though? Um, I, I'm going to take Ian Frey, so that would be five. Um, I'm going to take also Michael Hector, that would be six. Um, and then the two yeah, other midfielders, yeah. I guess, just to, just to list out them as midfielders, and again, they can play multiple roles, but it would be Bobby Reed making the seventh, and then my eighth. No, actually, I'm gonna stick with seven right here. Seven, right? Yeah, here. yeah because that's what I'm on now, isn't it? Because it's 23 players, so yeah, if you start. Right with... Okay, so you want Frey and Hector in the team, and you all have DJ, um, Ravel Morrison, and John Russell, so that's five. Yes. Yes. And then you will add um, Bobby Reed and who else do it? Uh, Bobby Reed, I think, might make just six then. Because I don't think I have okay, six. One after that. Okay, yeah. six. So, okay, six. That makes that's, sense. That's so, 14 plus 3 is 17. That leaves six. Four. It's yeah. se 17. 17. Okay, okay. All right, let me know, guys, in the comment section if you disagree or you agree, agree with that. Um, I think, you know, putting put in, um, Hector and Frey in the team. With the, the next three, it's going to stretch the, the it's going to stretch up front, you know. And um, Jason, uh, <laughs> well, again, all right, again, no. you know, like some, some could say, like Bobby Reed, yeah, he's listed on the midfield, all right. Really so, yeah, so Bobby, Reed, but that, that's so, you know, I mean, like it's and Amari as well, you know. So, my main reason for the Hector and Frey 
is I, I love what I saw from John Russell in the in the what was it um, twenty four minutes that he played right, but. Over his career so far, he has not really shown an ability to play multiple games in a row, 90 minutes at a time. So I don't want to just be so overly reliant and say, okay, we get John Russell. We don't need another CDM or another big type of big, like, defensive force in the midfield. I think we're going to need maybe one or two more over the course of the tournament. So I know some would say maybe Frey or Hector. But me personally, I would say both because... We don't know exactly what we're going to get out of Hector or Free. So I'd rather have both of them. And whichever one show up better, they will get the game time. You understand? I want, to, I want the coach to have more options in that role because I think that's where we always lack in these tournaments. If a guy gets two yellow cards and cannot play, and you don't bring somebody to spell him, then it, it, you're back to DJ Ravel as your pivot. And we don't want to see that anymore. So that is my reasoning behind you know, filling up the, the midfield with a little bit more, um, you know, grit in that in that area because we have a tendency to not win the ball back fast enough. And I, I want a few more ball winners in that area at the back. All right. So, um, um, Eddie says too much mids um, for me, Jason. All right. So, and then we're going to bring in Island Card right after. Island Card, hold on, please. Uh, Michael Gardy <laughs> said not going to go in with Hector. Um, Island Card, are you are your phone not working, Island Card? Island Card, we're not hearing you. Yes, we're hearing you now. What are you saying, bro? Oh, okay. Island Card, it, it's not working. Yes, we're hearing Are you hearing us, Island Card? Oh, Lord. I, I'm hearing a lot on okay, here. okay, but well, you, you're working a delay. Yeah, so some let me drop the, in the background or some let, island card. Let, let me drop the link again, island card, and you can come back on. Yeah, you can jump off and come back on. I'm gonna drop the link again for you because sometimes it clears up the sound. All right, no problem. Yeah, it clears up the sound and the feedback. Um, JD, did you say um Ian Frey injured? No, he he's coming off an, an injury, so I don't know how how much he stepped steps up. That's what I said. I never said he's injured, sir. All right? Yes, you, you can't catch me, you know. All right? <laughs> so, anyways. So, J J um, Jason. Yes. Uh, all right. So, no, let me take up Island Card because Island Card now hear me at all. Um, Island Card, come back on. Um, Island Card, I pushed you off so you can come back on because look, I cannot hear me. So, that clearly means it's not working. So, the link is there, Island Card. Just click it and come back on. So, the midfield. So um so the, so that, that's six plus eleven, that's seventeen. Um Jason. So let me go into the wide areas then no, no. How much wide areas players are going with? Because we only have six spots no. Um I I would say three. Um well three to four because you have you have some that can operate wider in the middle. But basically the ones that I'm thinking about would be Leon Bailey, Bobby Reed. And, no, but you're just um, named Bobby Reed. You're just named Bobby Reed in the midfield. Sorry, 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 sorry. Leon so, yeah. Bailey, Demar Gray, um, Hutchinson, Demar Gray, and Omari Hutchinson. Yes, that would be my three. So I'm to Jamal Lowe. Jamal Lowe is one of my three strikers. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. And then the three strikers. So you can um, you can know the strikers. Antonio yeah. Boza and Jamal. Oh, okay. Lowe. Wow. So no Chivante Stewart. No. Yeah, no. No. Stewart, no Burke. Um, no taxi, no name players there. No name players no they don't Stuart, make it. No Burke, no taxi, um, no Paris, no Cephas. Those would make up my, like, you know, I guess you'd say the reserve. Emergency. Like the okay. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. But All that right. would be my 23. Um, and anybody saying that three DMs is too many, I want you guys <laughs> to look. I want you guys to look at um, John Russell's actual position on transfer market and what it says, and then come back and talk to me. Because we want to force the guy to be a DM because he's big and tall. And his skill set actually is more of a box-to-box -box player. So, uh, as I said before, I don't want to depend on him as the only anchor in my midfield when a part of his skill set is actually going forward as well. I don't want to force him to just play defense in that role. And I think that the addition of Frey and Hector will allow him the license to maybe show more of his actual skill set. You understand? That's my reasoning, people. All right, and 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 um, I could uh, I support you on that as well because 
remember, you know, when you're, you're trying to give other people license, the coach played two positions, uh, or two formations, um, the 4 2 3 on, and the 4 4 2. You don't want to make a man isolated on the same wing with Leon Bailey, and maybe Leon Bailey's defensive cover is not so much. You, you understand me? So you want to have other people to support him so he can be a distributor rather than um, a personnel trying to be a secure force um, to bounce off. You understand me? I think Leon Bailey will thrive with more defensive covered covers than actual um, just flamboyant play, players that can play in deep line and maybe clog lanes and actually put in tackles, but not um, not that's their main duty. So I do support you um, on that statement. I do support you on that statement. Um, I am getting... Yeah, yeah, get buff. What do you mean? The internet not working? The internet not working? What do you mean? I am getting too thick. That's what I mean? <laughs> I think that's a wide comment, I believe. I'm not sure. What do you mean? What do you mean by that, Pagan? The internet, the internet have a give problem or something? Or uh, my too big and thick? Which one? Uh, yeah, but me, you will answer. Um, Lord, I stop make JD. <laughs> John Russell needs um, help um, in the midfield. All right, so uh, J Jamaica Guna, the link is there, you know? All right. Yeah, but okay. Eddie Guna, Eddie Guna, I understand, you know, that the man have the capacity to play DM, but I'm telling you, if you want to unlock the best of the player, we can't just force the man to be a defensive player. And, and then put a bunch of creatives around him. I think he has the cap the capability and the skill set to be one of the added creators. Yes, and yes, yes. From a deeper line. Exactly. From a deeper he line. So you so so Jason, so you are looking for going in because we have to go straight into the formation now. The formation has to be four, two, three, one then. In order to facilitate these players then. If if we're gonna pick this squad. You realize yeah, that now? Well, well, look, to, to me, you know, the, uh, it just depends on how you look at the team, right? Yes, on paper, it's a 4 4 2. But what I saw them playing against Mexico, the, the, the front two, one of them being um, Bowser, was more static, more within the width of the 18. But the other one, Bailey, it was popping up everywhere. Cam, left side, right side, it was just moving around. So, to me, that looked more like a 4 2 3 1, to be honest. And okay. just because we want something to beat the coach about, we are saying a 4 4 2, a 4 4 2. But if you look at how the, how the system actually look, it looked more like a 4 2 3 1 when you watch the game. Okay, okay, okay. Right. And, um, and I, and never, I, I never saw it. For, I, I never saw four, two, three, one. Uh, but remember, you, know, you have statics formation, you know, and and you can't beat it, the people to say a four, four, two if that's what he started out with. What I saw was more of a a four, four, one, one, and yes. the, the, yeah, that's what I saw majority of the game. You get me, Eve, static and also um in motion. That's what I saw four four one one because Bailey was over and around him. And I do um I, I do agree that you um that you said um Shama was more w within the week. So that is true. All right. Um. Why? Why? I um. Island Cart, may I get a feedback again? Island Cart, what go with the internet, man? Like him, I listen to the stream and you left on it or something. No, um, may I use my phone? Okay. Right. I don't know, but may I get a feedback? Well, yeah, you're good now, you know. Your work, your response timing, mean, everything is working well now. But we'll get a feedback, so I don't know if you're using an earpiece or something. No, no, I'm not using an earpiece at all. Yes, so that's the problem. So get an earpiece. Get an earpiece, big boss. Oh, all right. Because now you get a feedback, yeah. And then rally back. So mute your mic, I get an earpiece and come back, yeah? All right. Um, The, the question um is, who are going to check, check uh, Leon Bailey? Take it, Leon Bailey game? Um, Okay. Oh, you just get big and thick? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, But me did tell people, say, are the, are the camera fool them? You understand me? I can't tell people to run up on me. Uh, I'm going to thumb them down. And then I'm skinny. It's Jason. <laughs> Wait, say, but, all the talk, all the talk, you talk, you have to have muscle for your back up. Them thing, eh? No, 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 no. You no, have no. say the word back up. You have, you have to have muscle for <laughs> defend. You have to have muscle for defend. You know? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
Yes, we're, we're here. We don't hear you, you know. We are here, you. But um, only thing we we don't see that get the feedback. I know we're not getting the feedback. So thanks very much, people. As you come in, smash, smash the like button. Let we still do our two bills because this is a a a a, 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 a IMAX it and chill um version, you know. Outside in the backyard, relaxing um and the garden water, watering at this at this point, you know. Yeah, I mean, I know where the tick coming up, you know. <laughs> The man them gonna murder. The man them gonna murder. Um, um, pagan. Yeah? What you mean? Stop pause my video. What you mean? What you mean? Pause video. Uh, what what you mean by that? Did you say you hear me? Yeah, man. May I hear you fine? So why you must say we pause the video? I think, I think pagan. 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 Something are going on with you in your life, you know. Yeah, Pagan, yeah, yeah. something go, going on with you different from what we are going on with Pagan. All right, I'm very sorry. All right. <laughs> All right, so, um, hashtag Chevante, if Antonio missed the Gold Cup. I don't, I don't. <laughs> All right, so let me get Island Card speak. Island Card, we, we barely heard you. It's, you call it a few times, but no, we, we're, we, we, we have you here live and direct. So, Island Card, what you have, you have to say on the best 23 for Jamaica? At present, we're not hearing nothing what you're saying, no island card, not, not nothing at all, nothing at all. Yeah, you're hearing him, Jason? Very, very low, like, him yeah, yeah, that's yes. island card looks yeah. like yeah, you don't even get near the mic. You get me? You just disappear. <laughs> no, no card. Boy, Cart, Cart, you have to jump off of the stream and come back then. Uh, with the ear play, earphone plug in. All right? So, Cart, yeah, I give up. We did our ear in before, but it's like him going back to yeah, the first time. Again. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Uh, Cart, Cart, get an opportunity to speak properly and then no, he, he can't speak. So, uh, Cart, Cart, jump off, return back. All right, Big Boss? All right. All right. Yes. Yes, because we want to hear Cart, you know. Cart, a big star, you know. Um, it comes, like said, Tyree Maggie, tie out... Um, Toyota Pastor, um, to write it. Never hear a list, um, and Maggie make it. Um, so, Baggio, how can we make Maggie make it when he's not on the list? So we can't put him back on the list. You understand me? So we, what you have to ask, Baggio, he, how in the world he made, he never made this list after getting an opportunity to play in the USL. You get me? It, did they not see enough from him? In the few games to say that they're going to take him. That's what we need to have a uh, conversation now. JD sound like him, him, him dive um, in the pool, in the swimming pool. All right, you know what? Let me fix my sound too as well because I'm going to complain about everything and I'm not paying for my <laughs> equipment. Them, you know? I, I, all right, let me fall. I'm hearing me now. All right, so guys, you're hearing me better now? You hear me without me diving in the pool? All right. Yeah, so, anyways, Jamaica reach, Pool, how you doing, man? reach at the surface now. You know, they're in the pool again. I'm reaching the surface. All right. All right. So, clearly, clearly, it was simple. My headphone headset is not as high tech as my cell phone. Yes. So, Jamaica Pool, what say you? <laughs> yeah, bless up there. Bless up there. I'm JD. I'm from the chat and the panelists. Let me see, pray. Yeah. So, um, bless him, bless him. they are with my 23 still. Yeah, ZB. Okay, okay. Twenty-three right now. Fire, no joke. All right, all right. Uh, we, we're listening. Yeah, we're right. All, all patterns, all lyrics. My pen, 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 my Click on your phone, click on the mic, click on, no, click on more, click on more, and you're going to see settings. Go into settings, and then after going into settings, you're going to see sound. Um, when you see sound, go and click it and put it on default. So what it's going to do is going to use the, 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 the mic from your actual um, um, device and not the headset. So you're going to only use the headset for listening. But at this point, it looks like the headset taking the mic, and the mic is very low. All right, so get it started out because that's what I had to do. I'm um, going ahead, uh, go ahead, Jamaican go now. Yeah, man. So, um, so the fire 23 goes like this, right? Goalkeepers Andre Blake, Connor Boyce Clark, 
Mm-hmm. Jamali, wait. Cool. I am I am impressed by wait. I, I thought he did a good job when he came in. Left back is is um Amari Bell, uh, newly promoted to the the Premier League with his team. Congratulations to the baller and Greg. Mm-hmm. Um on the right back side, it's gonna be Dexter Lembaki, so I think he's gonna be the starter. And I would recall Wes Harding, who has been out in the wilderness for so long. He had a great season this year. Mm-hmm. Recall him back because he's on farm. Centre back is going to be Pinnock and Lowe as the starters, obviously. And I would call Bernard and Latibodier as the understudies. Okay, um, as the understudies? Wow. Jamaica yeah. get really good. <laughs> but understudies. <laughs> All right, go ahead. And what Jamaica can go in again? Do you still have one? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, man. man. Okay. okay, no, but yeah, because you, you said understudy. So oh. they want the understudy to what? When somebody money actually bigger than the study, be better than the study. It's up in the study. No, no, understudy to, to, to eat and pinnacle and understudy to international football, man. They don't know international oh. football. Eh? All right, I'm all right. Learn. And I'm going to learn Kanka Kaf too. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah. Cool, cool. So, um... So on uh, the midfield is Ravel, Omari Hutchinson, John Russell, and I would recall Michael Hector as my backup defensive midfielder. Um, he has a good season as well, so I would recall him, right? And mm-hmm. he's played centre half and also defensive midfield for his club team. And um Daniel Johnson. Um left and uh, on the wings, I would call four wingers. Um Damari Gray, Kaim Paris. Bailey and Bobby Reed. Um, okay. For the striker pool, I will go for Antonio Nicholson and. Let me take out, let me take out um, um, Jamaican Gunas, um, Mike again. So Jamaican Gunas, hey, Mike, when? Oh, you're back now? You're back. You're back now. Oh, okay. oh, so it seems like every time eh, um, I'm going to look on the list. I have the list written down. All right, cool. So up front, as I said, the striker pole would be Antonio, um, Shamar, and um, and and Low, um, Jamal Low. Um, I think had a decent season as well. He didn't have a great season, but he had a decent season out on loan. Um, and uh, on my standby, I would have Trevanta Stewart and and Ronaldo Cifas. The man, the, that is my twenty-three. Okay, okay. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Um, we have uh, um, Island Card. You saw it, you know, the mic because we're not hearing you. Island Card, the great Island Card. Are you hearing us? No, we're not hearing you, Island Card. Oh my God, I'm an Island Card. Uh, Island Card, take out the take out the headset and just come, just work with it with with whatever you have, and just mute the mic when you're not talking. That's all. All right. Because we're not hearing nothing at all. So we're going to bring in Pasta and give you some time to start out your mic. So Pasta, good afternoon. Um, how are you doing? And could you turn the phone sideways? So, um, you know, it could help us, you know? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, pasta eating a banana, you know? So <laughs> pasta, you, you need to stop coming on the program and eating pasta. You, 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 it's a principle, you're dealing with you. Uh, even though it's a, chill, it's a chill version, so it's not like, it's not like um, yes. we're batting you up. All right. So go ahead, Pastor. Go ahead. Yeah. I. The so 23. Pastor, why, why, why are you showing your, sh- your face, your shirt, and not your face? <laughs> the 20. <laughs> That's the Pastor. Hold well, on. Pastor, make sure you eat the banana with a knife, you know. <laughs> I want no. to When you're eating banana, you break it. Oh, okay. 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 All right. Mm-hmm. Okay, because okay. we don't want to know when I put a long um I'm cylindrical object in the mouth, you know, brother. Oh Lord. All right. That would be that would be a hidden practice. Oh, God. Um I agreed with that twenty three that um is Jason Jason put forward. Um, I believe that it's full time for us to 
repay Wes Harding. Ooh. And in so doing, allow Jamaica to move forward. Uh, I don't think we are going to benefit in any way, shape, or form holding on to any residue from the failed programs prior to this one. So the coach should pick up the persons that make sense and allow them to take us forward. Eddie, Eddie, please don't ask those questions. You're in my drama. Don't let my regret. <laughs> my regret. My regret is yes, Pastor, that the goal, the goalkeepers, the goalkeepers we have. I think we have a a B level goalkeeper pool, and on the world stage, I believe these guys have done quality work and they are the three goalkeepers who will will not make the 23 i hope they don't feel too undone so they are not affected psychologically i know that in a year when we have in, in it, it's not just a year for the next three years we have a it's a long haul so they just keep putting in the work and i'm sure that the coach will get to where he rotates the stewards that he has at his disposal. But I would go with Blake Waite and Boys Clark as the three to start this immediate program. I think most of the other players pick themselves. You should have Bell and Lee on the left side, Lambakisa and Hardin on the right side. Um... Bernard Lowe and Pinnock inside the center as center box. I I think we should we should be we should be good there. As I don't, don't follow the chat today. I don't know what is wrong with the chat. Is it something um in the Jamaica space that we don't know of? Why is it people asking who is the better pastor? Why is it people talking about coal stove and gas stove? And man is saying that he's not comfortable eating banana. <laughs> I can't see. JD, those are not semantics. So you would be best if you leave them alone. Okay, you would be best if you leave them alone. A pastor look uncomfortable. Yes, pastor is okay. All right, so pastor, you say you're okay with All right, actually, so pastor. Actually, I am trying to, to use the, the quiet time inside the, the associate's lunch room. So, I mean, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very comfortable. Him, we saw him trying to be decent so, and quiet, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I, this, this, this is as quiet as my loudness gets. All right, all right. So, so pastor, um, the question is... Um, if if we have a few players and contracts, because that's why we started the video, so like um, Hutchinson might be in Bruyne, take him, and um, he has to make a decision between staying at Chelsea and have to go to other clubs, three clubs, um, West, Bram, uh, West Bram, Bram, Middlesbrough, and someone else. And, um, you know, he said he wants some time out. Obviously, people always say he's not committed, but that's a lie. We already saw that. And on previous occasions, we saw those problems. So if we have five players, Wes Harden, um, Hutchinson, Lottie Bodier, um, Maps on the list, and one more person on the list that has contract a situation, and they, they should not, they, they would not be available. Could we have an immediate backup and you think our team would have been equally strong? I think our team would be strong the first 11. But in a competition, you want to have depth where you're coming off the bench with close to the players that you're going to put in your starting 11. And I believe that's where the team will be, will be depleted. But I believe... The starting eleven will be will be strong 
even if we lose those five players. But the coming off the bench would be an issue. I believe we could, if we don't get Wes Harding, then Taxi goes in my team. And um, because Deshaun Bernard can play right back, I would have him as the utility player. So I would, yes, it, I would have three left backs, but remembering that Bell can play inside too. So I wouldn't worry about the fact that as an issue with the three left backs. So that is how I would account for Harding's absence. Okay. For Maris Hutchinson's absence, I believe we need to give the players the opportunity to get themselves properly situated because international football does not pay them sufficient for them to live off it. So if they're having negotiations that they need the time to settle with clubs, I believe we should give them that. All right, Replacing them, no. Yeah? Yeah, because I wanted, I wanted everyone to get involved. So I wanted... I want, finish your point. Finish your point. Finish yeah. your point. Replacing a Hutchinson, you might then think... I, I like Jamaica and Guna would have Cephas in the reserves. So if you're not getting a Hutchinson and we're dealing with people who have passports and are ready to go, Cephas seemingly is in a good vein of form. So I would go with, with, with replacing Hutchinson with Cephas as being the speedier of the ones that are, you know, in the reserve, in the reserve area. You said five players. Um, who would be the who would who are the other three? So Maps, Wes Arden, Hutchinson, and Lottie Bodier. Those would have been the four up front, All but right. I, I can't remember the the fifth one. But well, fifth one yeah, Maps is not in my twenty three, so I wouldn't have to replace Maps. Maps would be in my reserve. Okay. So uh, I wouldn't have to replace Maps. Um, and I'm taking maps in the reserve because I think, the, based on my assessment of the coach's valuation of maps to the program, he's going to want to carry him in some way, shape, or form. So if you're taking some emergency players or reserves, I would carry maps in that group. So he's he's physically there, but I wouldn't have him in my 23. Okay. Um, and if the coach put him in the 23, I'm not going to fight the coach over it because he has a valuation on him as it relates to how he brings some amount of credibility to the, to the program. Um, the, the Lati Bodier, ah, I would need a cover for Lati Bodier. And the tragedy of finding a cover for Lati, Lati Bodier is that you go back to a Kevin Lambert, and I, I don't see those guys as equipped for the international stage. Um, but yeah, a lot of body here would have played a right back in there. Remember, you said you were put. No, I know he he can play right back too, but he he Brown would have been a replacement, yo. You're not comfortable with Gavin Brown. I wouldn't use. Bro here is why. Here is why I wouldn't use Brown. Pastor, Pastor, if you're bro of a four or so, you're not going to pick Brown. <laughs> All right. So, Jason, you just take over the, the thing because we're going to try to bring everybody on it. We're here, right, wherever, sir. Well, so, I mean, so, 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 the new has broken that Amar Hutchinson is not available? No, I'm just saying because sometimes you have to educate the people on the situation. Previous years, people, when they are doing contracts and them stuff, there, sometimes it, it kind of um, run over at a time and then they turn up for the World Cup and then people say they're not, they're not, they're not committed but realistically um, if you're not a, on a main team or you're not a part of a main team you have to always prepare your future so some people will stay back and work hard to get the next contract so they might them say three other places I um, try to sign him on loan and he may really know I got my Chelsea as well so he's kind of in like a dilemma there where he might try to figure out his future. So we don't know. The news may break, but I try to uh, make people prepare if they don't see them. I have never reported it as he's not going to come anywhere. No, I'm just making people be comfortable for the situation and prove that maybe the 50 players that they have listed, 
maybe not the whole 50, but 40 players are above listed might come in handy if some of these players can't turn up for valid reasons. That's all. So we have to just talk on it extensively. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Okay, thanks for that, JD, because I wasn't sure how we got to this place, but I understand now what we're doing. So we just kind of, in, in case of people not being able to go, who would you have as their replacement, right? So yeah. um, if Mario Hutchinson was not able to go, um, I think that would then open up a slot for, in my in my setup for um, probably Kahim Paris, because he was just outside of my 23 personally. I would probably drop Paris into that slot that Omari would vacate. Yeah, all right. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, so we have to go into the starting. Guys, are we up? Guys, we need to know the, the likes count because remember, we are not on the stream. So let me know when we reach 100 or if we reach 200. We have 100 people now. So let me try to go up to 100 if we haven't. But if we pass 100, let we aim for 150. And then if we can end the show of 200 and 200, that would have been a bonus. All right? Yes. So, so Jason. Um, the start in level now, since we talk about all of those things um, coming in, and Jamaican going and faster. So the start in level, let, let, let me start chop up the start in level. Um, oh, we look now, the goalkeeper spot. All right. Blake, so, take it back. Yes. Um, because we have play good over all other, all other competitions with, with, with Blake's, um, Blake's absence, you know. So will you just throw him out and start Blake instant? Are you saying enough yeah, for me? I mean, well, well, it depends how you look at it, right? You look at you look at things half full or half empty. So you put it like, are we going to take out weight? But really, how Blake was out in the first place? Was it football or was it other things? Um, it was a bit of both. One was right. he, he was injured, and one yeah, was, was bad man thing. <laughs> right. So okay. So for that for that now we can we can look at it the other way. Are we going to throw away Blake for weight? If Wade never really actually took the game from him, he got an opportunity and did well. Yes. It's not like you, it, one of them going to get it taken away because they have both at it at points. Mm -hmm. It just depends on how you frame it. But me personally, I think with with the with the game with the Gold Cup being in the US, um, Blake, for me, he's still a little bit better than everybody else. I know he has his deficiencies as far as kicking out the ball, but I would tend to think that. I don't think it's a head chip issue. <laughs> I think that some of the defenses in front of him maybe he didn't particularly trust to give them the football. And I am hoping that with some different defenders in front of him who have a better idea of spatial awareness and how to create opportunities for the keeper to pass instead of hoofing, we won't see as many of the woofs. Now that might mean that might be me being unrealistic. But until I see it, then I can't say he can't do it because when I see him play for Philadelphia. His long balls on average are a lot less than when he's playing for Jamaica. So I, that that has to be uh, there has to be a reason for that. That means that he's capable of not kicking away the ball every single time. So I want to see when when Pinnock is wide, when Lower Bernard or whoever is playing centre back is wide or or, or Latibo there, and, and a defensive central is dropping in the middle, that he he takes one of those three options instead of booting it up the field. So if we can instill that in him, I think we'll see improvement. And he's still a good goalkeeper when it comes to shot snapping. I think his handling and his command of the box and crosses are two of the things that I think has held him back in his career from making the big jump. Um, but I still think in terms of shot stopping, if the ball is coming his way, most of the time he's going to stop it from getting into the goal. And at the end of the day, that's what you want your keeper to be doing. So weight is not far off. I don't think it's a huge gap. But I would still be starting Blake as the keeper. What everybody all else right. thinks. All right. So oh, Jamaica and Guna and then um, Pastor. Just my view, chop, your, it, it, chop off each player and then just move on. Yeah. My view is this, right? Get uh, shovel and some steel and some black mm -hmm. and cement and Jay Blake in a goal for the foreseeable future for like five more years, minimum. Okay. One and why, why is that? Why, why is that? Is um, two reasons. He have a lot of good credit in the bank. Um, that is going to get him a long way. He have a lot of good reputation because he has saved us on many occasions. When we could have get Ahmad, he saved. He pulled us out, pulled us some spectacular saves. He's done that all his career. So, to, and in my view, I think the most, big, the biggest thing we have in the bank is that it, I think he's the best goalkeeper that Jamaica has ever produced. Um, so, um, 
in my he's a he's a he's a he's a in terms of goalkeepers and in terms of Jamaica reggae boys, he has in my view, he has reached legendary status. He's um in concrete in a in a, in a goal barring injury. The only thing I have a question mark ab about him is 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 the captaincy. I don't think he should be the captain anymore. I think the captaincy should pass to, to Ethan Pinnock. But other than that, I mm -hmm. think um as a goalkeeper him him concrete in a goal for the for because I don't think nobody pass him yet. And um he's he's playing at at a good level in the MLS and he's he's consistently putting in good good performances. Um I still because he's a goalkeeper, um I he, and goalkeepers can go up to like 40, 45, they can go up because experience plays a lot in goalkeepers um growth. So I, in terms of goalkeeper, he's like in his, in, in his early 30s. I think he has probably the next 10 years at a good level. So I would give him like five years. But I think he's concrete in a Jamaica goal. Okay. So, Pastor, are you agreeing with um, Jamaican goal and all the statements are maybe some? Because I don't, definitely don't agree on all of them. Or maybe some. But he put it's in... not that I agree with all of them, but as it relates to Andre Blake, yes. I... Wait, wait is the second stream goalkeeper, and we're glad that he performs as well as he does. Andre Blake comes back and is coming back out of competition, credible performances. So, I believe, yeah, the number one goalkeeper goes in the goal. All right, and All right fair it's, enough. It's, it's a credit to the goalkeeping pool. I mean, yeah. All right, fair enough. Um, I, I agree with one part of his statement. And look, at, that's where people disagree with Jamaican Kona with the forever. Uh, he should stay playing the goal for five years. No, I don't think that because what we did just a while ago proved that a lot of people, people coming through. What we saw a, a kind of boys start doing, um, it proves that a lot of people come in um, for that position. You understand me? So I, I would not agree. I mean, I um, said forever, you know, I said to you, no, said five the years, said five years. For five years. And, yeah. and, and they give you a five years. I mean, say five years is too long. Okay, I think okay. by, even next, Let's see, by you know. next year and a half, people are already uh, down on that. Because he might not be the, he might not be the number one next year. Let's see. He might not be the number one next year. Let's so see. until he's passed as the number one, he should be the starting goalkeeper. No, I'm not going to say he will be the number one next year. I don't believe, I don't personally believe he will be the number one next year because Connor Boys Clark is improving rapidly. Weight is, is, is improving and is at a very good level. So I don't know that Andre will be the number one. I know that for as long as he's playing at a high level and doing very well, he, should, he remains in the pool. Where, where it reaches, whether he's number one or not, is a total different story. Because the number one goalkeeper gets the start every time. Okay. Big up yourself, the, the, the Duckland Senate. All right. So let me move on now to um, the, the, the left back position. Jamaican Gona. Let me hear what you talk about. No, 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 so, 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 uh, my choice, you know, uh, oh, me feel like it. No, but, I'm but, a rebel, man. Jamaican girl, oh, oh, no, oh, no, Jamaican girl, but I'm saying, mm -hmm. so this man don't even think him 100% of the team. And the man I say, him am there for the future and I have to make sure him stamp him claim for people know say, mm -hmm. but there. So, what you say, you, you see him for, for this tournament, you see him as the main person, as the left back. Rebel as my starting left back. Oh, yes, oh, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Jesus, why Guna, why Jamaican Guna can't answer questions just straight? Someone has said, I'm going to start in the left back where you saw him say. No man, they give him concrete. Or if I have no one over the man. Okay, well, him not think him give him concrete because him of okay, the... Okay, well, Amari yeah. Bell is, uh, in my opinion, Amari Bell is Jamaica's best left back for the last two years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For the last two years, Amari Bell has been Jamaica's best left back. And he hasn't even, and even weird enough, when Greg Lee forward in, Greg Lee actually performed really, really good because Greg Lee is very good going forward in. You know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. Amari Bell is not as good going forward, but I appreciate his defensive news. But him, what, him, what? him, 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 um, yeah, listen to me, Memelan, Memelan, I don't think he's better. I don't think Greg Lee to me looks more. Threatening going forward than Amari Bell. Well, what I like about Amari Bell is his, is his maturity. Because Amari Bell can drop into midfield. Amari Bell can play center half. 
So defensively, Amari Bell is really is 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 way better than every, anybody else we have at left back. But going forward, me personally, I just me just like how Lee look dangerous when I go forward. The more PSM okay. him, just look more dangerous going forward. But okay. Amari Bell so is come, more versatile. Amari Bell is a better player, obviously. Strong. Jason, here come Jason, here come a big, fast, and strong. I, I have mean, not seen one attacking. Maybe Taxi in his prime is better than Amari Bell going forward. Amari Bell going forward is. How much? How much did Amari Bell this year? No. No, I'm going to match it. 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 I'm Center back as as a, a left of the three, some majority mm -hmm. of the time. Last yeah, yeah. Last year he was the wing back and the left mid either to some time. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He, he mad attacking. But the got the intelligence of a player, he does exactly what's asked of him every single time. So that's, that's why that's what I, I I as me said, ah, look, Mina does mean attacking. Me attack about look dangerous attacking. Me me just like how Gregory attack. Like how me they like. It's when Taxi was at his prime. Me love him attack more than. But, the, the, but Jamaican at the gravity, you know, at the gravity with Gregory around with and the the force and the force. Fast, brother, and, 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 and him does oh. so just. It makes make your team, brother. Gregory make your team. Gregory is the Mikel Antonio in the defense. <laughs> Gregory make your team. Gregory is the Mikel Antonio in the defense. The bulldozer. Gregory make your team. He said he's an attacker, right? And an attacker. One well, Jamaican girl finish and yeah. then pass for me. Don't pass for me, Gregly. And Gregly pick up the ball and run at you. Him looks scary when the man run at three players, bro. Bro, missing yeah, him in Canada. Jamaica, and the whole time when the man back off of the man, bro. But Jamaican girl, that is just his facial features and his bully technique. The but man look, the man, the man in front. The Canada man in front of the man. Me want to answer that from my send. Me want to answer that from my wing, my string back them. But I'm a rebel. Is the better, better player. In my opinion, I'm a rebel. Is the better player. Listen, I don't know. I don't know how this narrative got started. But for me, Amari, Amari Bell, Bell may be the greatest uh, attack. Uh, yes, like I don't know how be the greatest attack attacker played in Jamaican Amari team Bell. ever. Gre ever. To me, to me, the man range of passing is ridiculous. Uh, but guys, you know, in, in more versatile by far, in better defensively by far. But me personally, and when Gregory attacking. pick up the ball, me just like when he defended them, I back off of the dog. Jamaica Guna, I figured it was very fast. What you like about um 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 Gregory? Well, I, and I understand. Yeah, yeah, Jamaica J Jason, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, sorry, sorry. I just wasn't sure if I could hear me. But all I was saying was I don't know who, who, um how Amari Bell like he's better offensively and defensively than all of the left backs in this pool. I don't see I don't see this attacking impetus that you guys talking about with Greg Lee. Like he's just strong, but I yes. don't think he's a very technical player when you see him playing football. Yeah, but that's what that's what we're saying. But Jamie can go to say he prefers um that type of force running at people, which I can agree to that. But I'm telling him that when he's saying attacking, like what what delivers in the attacking area, I think Amari Bell still got it. But he said he, he understands. So we move on. So Amari Bell get the spots, Jason. And um we're gonna bring in Martin. So Amar Jason, what say you? Amari Bell is solid in the in the starting spot? Yeah, man. Amari Bell, um, I think right now, based on uh, based on the teams, the team that we have. He's one of he's one of the names that I think once he's fit is is on the team. Like I he he has cemented himself on that left back role. Um, from the first time I saw him playing in the Gold Cup, I really liked the player. And for whatever reason, he kept getting dropped in and out, in and out. But I think these last few Nations League appearances, everybody must see now that Amara Bell is the best option at that left back spot right now going forward. Okay, um, Martin, um, I'm a pastor, them take a pastor, all right. So, guys, yeah, we have one third, one third, Martin, one Martin, we forgot. We didn't even go on every in a body in a chat. Based my mind, 23, it will definitely be Bell and Lee, and Lee really excite me every time I watch him on play for Jamaica from the start watching. But Martin, Ma Ma Martin, Martin, what, what it together? People, we have one thirty in the chat. Please do like the video, like the video. Get us to one thirty likes on the video, so we can go to our normal aim of two hundred. Big up yourself, Evan Earl McDonald. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, we, no, we are still at the team. I, I'm here, the big coach. So I'm here, still at the team. You don't know that already, man. 
I say me and still a team and obviously we have the panelists I do a job. So alright. So go ahead, Martin. Go ahead. Continue, Martin. Yeah man, so I agree with everybody, but right now, base fan, Bell, sure starter, but Lee would have really be me back up and this is how we love with the squad right now. As me always tell the people them when last we can have a squad and somebody can cement a spot and make a changes. Normally when Jamaica make changes, the change don't really do nothing. You see me not really help the team. So if if, if Bell for come off and replace Lee and Lee or uh, Lee replace Bell, the quality and the high standard may believe still I go up there. You know go look like oh Canada match you look and Lee the miles ahead, IQ level ahead than the rest of um ball of them when not really in the league where my play. But great addition man. Um Marlon same with I bring Lawrence. Um, yeah, but Marlon is there. Marlon is there. So let's leave Marlon and Lawrence <laughs> and him play as them. <laughs> let's leave Marlon and him play as them. Well, that's what I say. Yeah, man, I agree, man. <laughs> Lee and Bell for me, too. Lee and Bell for me. Based on yes. everything in that 50-man squad, Lee and Bell for sure. Mm-hmm. All right, so uh, yeah, man. Um, big up, um, Warren, massive respect. Yeah, man, slap up the like button, people. 120 likes, 130 likes to 200. Um, did you guys know that um, Bailey assist ratio is higher than Mohamed Salah? Um, what are you talking about, um, Daniel? And um, what are you talking about, Daniel? All right, we are talking <laughs> about Jamaica team, so please let me just talk about Jamaica team, Daniel. Daniel Denny, let me talk about Jamaica team. I don't know where. Why Bailey have to come up in this conversation when we are talking about Jamaica team? So let yeah, me continue. Ba- um, Bailey will back. come up, but we don't reach the position. Yeah, yeah, we, we don't reach away and we don't talk about it. We don't even know if J- Bailey starts in the team. When we come to the point there, we talk about it when if him starts in the team. Let me continue now. Um, centre back, centre back, centre back. He I revise. I, people still are fight, but the left back position here. Really? Lay more of a definite high vibes. You have never watched Amari Bell played football because it's not accurate. Amari Bell is by far the more attacking um, player, two, but he's more. Of the two oh my players, God. of the two players, Amari Bell is more attacking, brother. It's not even a question. I don't the man right what? full position, Jason, is left wing back. Yes, your, your attacker. That's why it's they really... put you as that. Is really is really injuries to their back line why I'm even end up at left centre back. Oh my oh my god. The I don't know if these guys watching you, you know what can't can't you Jason? Let me go to the defense. That's yeah. how we, we have to spend so long to make a team. <laughs> go yeah, go. But but look, it's a good problem to have at left back. I do think of the two, most of the people in the chat have it kind of mixed up because I would say I wouldn't even say Lee is better defensively, but to me he's a more defensive option. Bell gonna give you more attacking, but we're gone from that. So the center backs, we're gonna do both are just one at a time. Ah, uh, let me do one at a time because okay, maybe time. other people might don't want Damien in the team because they have a lot of people who think that we know. Obviously, I think he should. Um, I didn't say Greg Lee never have a failed game for Jamaica. Well, Amari Bell never had one either to uh, Arden. Um, people just try to um calculate that he made a. Uh, uh, own goal in the Gold Cup and then use that against him because that's how they evaluated players. But he never had nothing to do with the own goal. He never kicked it in his own goal. Someone kicked it and it bounced off him. You know. But anyways, go ahead, go ahead. Um, but it's okay. Arden is a good problem to have. Continue, Jason. Yeah. So um, left centre back. This is probably the easiest pick of the day. Um, Ethan. Yes. Ethan Ethan. Team of the season, Premier League, excellent defender. Um, level-headed, composed, last-ditch tackling, pretty much everything you want from a defender will give you. And I think he has the potential to be the captain for the Gold Cup squad. Oh, Lord. So Why people keep saying I'll that? I'll drop that in there now. I'll drop that in there now. Only oh, love, oh, love, love wars now. Yeah, man. Rupert is <laughs> the captain, man. Rupert is the captain. War. It's not a oh, war. Then... I, 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 think, um, I, think, I think even Hal Grimson himself said that uh, to himself. Oh, oh Lord. All right. Oh Lord! Uh, all right, let me pass off with Jason because Jason, it like you, Jason, you know that the people don't accept the man in properly. Um, so why we can't just make the man in the body team and let me stop talk about captain? <laughs> no, 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 Let's say the back is Ethan Pinnock. Ethan Pinnock, thank you very much. 
All right. Rupert, man. You know, I've said that, man. <laughs> Rupert, man. You know, go no ahead. Go, go, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Um, go ahead. Uh, okay. G- All right. So, um, 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 I think our centre back pairing is settled, man. Most people know what our centre back pairing will be. So, and this is right back. We know already. Oh, oh, no, no, nobody. No, don't force the show, brother. <laughs> because people, so well, I respect that. I know. I, 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 That's how you think. That's how you think. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Go ahead. Yeah. This is called. This is called a panel. Yeah. For a reason. Views to the entire panel. So, 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 Mister Panel, panelist. What are you saying? Is not. All right. Okay. Well, so, Mr. Martin, panelist, who, who are you to, Mr. Panelist? I, I passed her, passed her, passed her. You passed go with her. Rupert. Passed her, you go with Rupert. <laughs> and Martin, you go with Rupert, right? Everyone said, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. So, Ma- 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 Martin, who you have on your le- left side? Passed her, be careful of the people they're showing in the background. Left side, no, me have. Passed um, her. Reverse little bit. Um, Go ahead, Martin, because they're not have not, not the Rupert, Rupert is the starting left center back. Full stop. Right. No the negotiations. Right, the right center back now. Um, when you have the wizard in, um, you have a whole heap of people. So who you put as the right center back? King. All right. The, the, let, yeah, since I'm on the line, let me answer. Back. Let me answer. And come back. I, I don't, don't believe back. Damien Lowe is the best right side center back. However, we are going to start with him and allow him to be displaced by those who are better than him rather than throw him away. So he has done... No, J.D., you have to give a man. But, uh, Pastor, I never said anything. I, I agree yeah. to start him. That's what I said. Yeah. So I don't know why... So I, I would start him that. and allow, allow, allow the process to take its, its, its course. So he okay. would start as my right side center. Jason, Jason. Yes, JD. Uh boy, it's a tough one, man. I mean, look, oh, it Damian is a tough Lowe, one. Damian Lowe, Damian Lowe for me has improved. If you look at his, if you look at him in the last year, since he went to um, Inter Miami and then now at Philadelphia, um, he looks like he has, he has, you know, reined in his his tackling a bit. I don't see him getting as reckless in his challenge as much. Um, Maybe that's an experience factor. Maybe he's reading the game a bit better, so not out of position as much. Maybe. Um, but I think w- what I saw from him in the Mexico game, barring one mad run to the corner flag that I'm sure everybody remembers, <laughs> he, he, he was pretty good. He was pretty good. And I think playing beside Rupert helps him a lot. So with all those things, I, w- I, I would give him a chance to see him against USA. Because then you would have seen him and Rupert playing against the two best. Well, I guess Canada would have an argument in that. But two of the better teams in CONCACAF. And we would have mm-hmm. seen how they held up against two of the better attacking teams in CONCACAF. So, for that reason, and because I was impressed with their performance together in Mexico, I would, I would give him another shot to see if he can solidify the spot for the future with Pinock. All right. Uh, no problem. So, and I go with Damien Lowe as well at the start, but definitely um, it's not a cemented spot. I think only Ejan Pinock at this point has a cemented spot in the team as a centre-back because Bernard, if they can actually come here, I think Bernard is out there. Latibo there, um, even though he's a right-back, centre-back is on the queue um, in, in line as well. So it's tough and it, it's good to have um, pos- um a lot of depth in position because that that's when your team really going good because a man know that he has to play on the field hundred percent to keep his position. All right, so we'll go over the right back side now. So who oh, we're going for right back? Um, I don't know, but Jason, go ahead, no, go ahead, no. Uh, who oh, you're going for the right back position? Uh, right back for me, similar to my last choice, I think. Because of the, the, the performance I saw in Mexico, I'm going to start with Dexter in the USA game. Ooh, okay. um, I, know, I know we have Lati Bodier and Bernard who have joined. And I think of those two, Lati Bodier is the one that would be really pushing Dexter in that right-back role because he has been playing that role very well for Swansea for about two seasons now. So um, if, if there was a camp and some games leading up to this tournament, 
I would say maybe Joel would have the time to pass him. But just based on the last game, and I think the coach will not want to, you know, change out every single person from the start. I think Dexter edges it right now for me to start in the USA game. Okay, um, 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 Jamie Kanguna, who are you going with for the right back spot? With um, everyone available. <clears throat> um, uh, um, was was the the previous person talk? Not Jason. Uh, who was the um the panelist that said um, that um, uh, you know, I shouldn't speak on the behalf of the, <laughs> the, the, the panelist, right? Okay. Right. No, me just want to know, cause me don't have me don't have a man that put King at the right back at the right centre back. Me don't know who we that got about. Me just know the man. The man might just as tell us say other the players. Maybe the man might try to explain to us say maybe it's not as um as, as, as clear cut. No, as, I, I, as well, yeah. no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 yeah, you're stapling at the team. <laughs> so no, I'm going to start the bench. You're stapling at the team. Yeah. 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 But it's a tick with cement block. Them are you're stapling. 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 you are stapling you are stapling you are stapling you are stapling you yeah, yeah, Sonzi, Sonzi. Yeah. But he's he's also on um on the own for a new club, but he said he wants big clubs to go to. So okay. the big clubs well, I see yeah. I see I see a little art. I see some like them them, you know, they're looking at getting um him, um he's looking to move on. I think his contract has run down, right? Um so that's that that's our challenging one because here we are going on. Let me kiss is already already you know, made his the coach already see him, know what he's made of, know how he, he has played international football for us. So he understands a little bit more about inter so he's got a little bit more experience as it relates to international football. But he's not starting for Wolves or playing any big man game for Wolves. I think he's playing PL two. So that's a challenging one now because if you're gonna look at international experience, you're gonna be looking at Lambakisa. But if you're gonna look in at who has been more consistent playing football at a high level, it is definitely gonna be Lati Bodier. So that's a challenging one. For me personally, I would go with Lambakisa. Um because of the mere fact that he I like how he overlaps. He looks dangerous when they overlap. And um and because on the left I would like um Bell, because Bell can tuck in. And play like I'm a, a third midfielder in there, so or a fourth midfielder, depending on the formation where I play. But he usually can tuck in as a centre half or as a as a as a midfielder. So with that being said, when we're going forward, we will have um Lembakisa overlapping. I like how him overlap him. Look dangerous on the overlap. Um so Lembekisa. And yeah, Lembekisa in my view. Mm. Okay, okay. Uh, Martin and, and uh, Martin before Pastor. Martin, who you pick for the right back position? Because this one looks a little bit close. Um, I was we are put West Harden in a right back position, right? Oh, oh yeah, man. Uh, man we put him in a center back. Yeah. yeah, so straightforward. Um, Lambo and West Harden, man. Lambo done. Lambo prove it in a Trinidad under twenty. Oh, he never get to make it to under twenty. Trinidad too much. And Mexico Martin. see Lambo spot for me. And Martin. if we if West Harden the panis left and him available, definitely Lambo and West Harden for me. Okay. My um, yeah. Martin, me know I cut you, but we we are pick the eleven, you know. Me, me notice I, I put yeah, two yeah. players every time. Oh, the eleven. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you said, you said, said, uh, me you really, said, uh, well. me really are focused to so cutting that. I may jump and I jump up. Me yeah, man, yeah, me totally and me totally yeah, understand so, that, man. Yeah, so um, the level then the level. Oh, who for start? Lad God. Yeah, um, we we went to keeper. Twenty-three. At the fifth player, is your name? And we mm -hmm. have like 24 minutes to name the rest for the finish of the two hours. Yes. So we, we name with five players so far. Goalkeeper, the left back, mm -hmm. two centre backs, and now we're at the right back now. We are going to midfield right after this. 
Oh, so either West Sardin and Lambo are the option, right? West Sardin, um, Lamakista Lam and um, Latibodier, because Latibodier did not get a start in the center back position. So all three of them can play the position. Okay, okay, all right. So based on them two options, I may mean, believe the, the performance would have really get the edge to Latibodier over Lambo and West Sardin at the time. At this time, but only saying it, it's so complicated because I mean, I'll make it complicated. So, would I choose um, Lambo? Um, that's sorry, oh. that's body here to start. Mm -hmm. That's about here to start. All right, yeah. Um, Cohen, good day, Cohen. How are you doing? And oh, you can quickly catch up with, with the rest of the stream if you were following it. All right, Cohen, are you hearing us? We're not hearing you, sir. Okay. Yes, but all right. Where, where are you? Now? Where are you now? Yes, good afternoon, Cohen. How are you doing? Yes, I'm doing good. Bless up to the panelists and the person in the comment section watching. Hope you're all having a good day. Yeah, so what you want to try, add to this the conversation because we are we're doing the best, the best in the starting 11 now, and uh, we are at the right back spot. So maybe because you, you never started, um, we never get your, your full list. So you have to just catch up with where we start, if that's okay for you. Okay, Kwan, I get that feedback because he's not here now. Kwan, look like you have some problem with the, uh, the feedback. Jerry. Yeah. In light of having, in light of having the Latibodier was hard. Pastor, one second, because Kohan is speaking, so I want to give him an opportunity to speak. So, Kohan, please jump off the stream and return back um, to see if you can sort out the issue of your, 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 your mic. So, jump, let me drop the link and you can come back on, yeah? Let me, let me post it because um, if you come, everybody has to get in time, you know? Yeah, man, I only, I only, in, I only chimed in because I realized he was, he was off and you were sorting that out. Yeah. Um, having the issue with um, Latibodier, Hardin, and Lambakisa, I would treat it the same way I'm treating Lowe. I believe that Wes Hardin is the more matured and better of the two out of Lambakisa and Latibodier. And um, Wes Hardin and Latibodier, Wes Hardin would be the starter for me. And then because... Because Latibodier doesn't have international experience, I would take him or Lambakisa off the bench based on what the situation, the game situation is. Mm -hmm. And even though I believe that Latibodier is the better of the three, I would allow him to work into the team in terms of displacing the others who are ahead of him. Okay. All right. So, Kwan, please. Um, work. Are your mic working now, Kwan? Let me know. Yes, let me just. Ah, we are hearing you. To be internet issue. Oh, yes, internet so issue. Sorry about that. The right back, right back. Who, who would be a right back? I'm um, going into this World Cup. This World Cup, I should say. That's the on um, Lati Bodier. Okay, and which one you would have started? Um, at this point. I haven't seen much of Lati Bodier, but I. Based on um, Dexter attacking prowess on his defensive skill set, I think I would start him because he can add in the um the forward option and also defensive wise. All right, all right. Respect and thank. So I would add him there. All right, respect for that. Respect for that. We are going straight into midfield. Let me start with you in midfield. We're gonna pick two deep line midfield because we're gonna use a four two three one. So two deep line midfield. Who would be a two deep line midfield? These are the guys we have on the list. In uh, we have um, um, Splat, which is a, 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 a guy. We have Ian Free. Uh, we have John Russell. We have DJ, and we have Ravel Morrison. So Ravel Morrison could go into the attacking pool. So you, and and that, that DJ could go into the attacking pool, but they can also play deeper because they play deeper for Jamaica. So who would be your two deeper line midfielders? So you can start with one, and then we'll go for everybody else. Yes, based on, on the name mentioned, we are weak in that department. But yeah. the only two I see, I would really start there. 
not because of quality, but because of the best who can really use at the moment. I would use Ian Free and Russell. But it's still weak. But you don't have any better than them at the moment right now. So Ian Free and Russell. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, all right. So let me get somebody uh, right after. Guys, as you come in, smash the like button. Jason, um, give me a tool um, that you would have worked with. I would say John Russell. Yeah. And, um, and Lati Bodier. J John Russell and Lati Bodier as defensive central? Absolutely. So, so <laughs> all right. John Russell and Lati Bodier as a defensive central, guys. Um, what say you? Is it that Jason gone bonkers? Or you think that Jason um, tried to replicate yeah. Pep? And, yeah, and, yeah, and, Pep? And I am the one that has the ball head. I am the one that has the ball head, you know. But yes, you want to take over. Even Pep got the whole from me. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. May I, may I deserve it? May, I, may I Roberto deserve the thing, yeah? Okay, okay. All right. All and right. those so who don't know, that's Brighton manager. <laughs> Um, you, you just know, do, Jamaican Guna, um, two different, two deeper line midfielder. Who are you going with? Because remember, we only have 20 more minutes, you know. Maybe John, Russell, keep... John Russell and, and as I said, I would recall Hector. Recall Hector, so John Russell and Hector, all right. Martin, um, who are you working with? Because we're still going to fast. Oh, you look like everybody forget Ravel, but <clears throat> may, I, may, I, may I go back for Ravel still, you know, because the thing is, you know, if Russell is on the field, Remember, say, most of the game in Ravel, I fear do what Russell for do. He might fear go back in the middle of the two defenders. They might fear track back. A player like Russell now, I believe, say, that must can bring out something where we are look for all long from Ravel. So, I still have to stick with Ravel and Russell. Uh, Ravel and Russell, deeper line. Okay, all right, now. So, guys, yeah, we are going to go up to the tour, and then we will recheck. Depending on the likes, we will give you a little bit more, but if not, we we'll track the show up. You know the thing, oh, we have to make sure um, the compensation is there for our time and our expenses, you know. Yes, Tagman Hall um, says, um, what's the performance? 4 2 3 one. We want to see if we can get the best out of our team. Um, then we bring up Pasta. Pasta, um, what say you on the two deep line midfielders then? Russell Hector. Russell Hector. Oh my God. This is going to be a tough position here. All right, so for me, I am going to go with John Russell. That's what I picked out my team. You know, so I make sure that John Russell. And I got to say, I am I'm going to keep Robert Marcy deeper. I just believe that he has to be much more disciplined and um, work together with Russell. Russell might not be the, the, most, the best defensive cover, but I think he's better than the others. So what we class as not the best defensive cover, it's still higher profile than the ones that we have that are actual designed defenders. So that's why I would stay with John Russell and Ravel deeper. All right? Ravel will be the, the, the progress of the play, and Russell yeah. would have to be the dirty work, and also the progress as well. So we'd have a, a good um, balance there. I, I, it's just what we can do, guys. I'm going with and if free, if free get into it, um, I would uh, mix him with them. You know, if things going bad for you, we'll come in because we are, we always use the experience that they had in to pick them. So why are, why are you guys are going to beat, you know? Pig and say, boy, oh boy. All right, so all right, so let me move up into the you know. Um, people, if you're, not, if, you're, if you're cleaning, you're, you're swimming, bathing, anything, you have to mute your mic, people. Please, I beg you. Know. All right, so anyways, in mi attacking midfielder now. Attacking midfielder. Let me go with Kohan. Kohan, attacking midfielder. Um, who are you going with, Big Boss? Omari Hutchinson. Omari Hutchinson. That was very fast. And you can explain why, sir? Because he's a dynamic player. He can... Because I would start um, something mm -hmm. there on the left side that um, um, Gray. And Gray can add into the forward option. And Omari have that talent which can play, play as a wide option so they can rotate as well because you know Gray can also play as an attacking midfield and he can also go forward as well so I will use um wow because he's dynamic. All right so that means your your best eleven is gonna be tough 
Um, JKK said that IJD, their Dexter is very strong defender. They're, therefore, he should give him an opportunity. Yes, man, he gets an opportunity. Um, still not sold on Russell. That's Taj Mahal. No, he says, 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 says Omar Hutchinson. And Tegan out here talking about boy, oh boy. I don't know what is he talking about. Uh, uh, Omar Rochins to get this, this spot for that. Jason, um, oh, and then we're bringing Jamaican Gunnar right after Jason. Who gets your attacking midfielder slot? Because <laughs> um, it looks like Bailey. Look at Bailey now getting a game for QA. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna put Bobby, I'm um, sorry, I'm gonna put Damara Agree in my Damara Agree. All right, my goodness. Uh, Lati Body here and uh, Damara Agree and who? <laughs> Lati Body, Russell, and Gray. Young Gray in, a, in, a, in the middle, all right. So we're bringing Jamaican, Jamaican Guna. Um, Jamaican I, Guna. I me feel Omar Hutchinson. Oh, okay. All right, everybody. Martin, Martin, attacking midfielder. Who are you going with? Wow. But most, Omar Hutchinson, man. Oh, okay, Omar wow. Yeah, man. What? what? I, he must be there for my starting level. I, 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 may I tell you, he must be there, no matter what. All right, me, no problem. Omar is like Bailey to me right now, you know, half a start. So, you know, so oh, you saw the wicked guys. It looked like so Bailey that might not get the game, you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, the start 11, you know. I, I want to hear when you say this now. So, um, David Jackson said, Russell, a, a ball, a brother. Okay, no problem. Lansley, who will be a cam? Who will be a cam? All right? Because we're going we're to have three more positions, you know. All right? Wow. DJ is my cam. DJ's a cam, all right. DJ's a uh, pastor's cam, all right. No problem. So we are going to name the two wingers them now. Right and left winger. We are going to start with pastor. Right and left winger for your pastor. Damara Gray, Bobby Reed. Damara Gray, Bobby Reed. All right. Damara Gray, Bobby Reed. Oh, God. Martin, um, two wide positions. Um, Bailey and Bobby Reed. Bailey and Bobby Reed. All right, mm -hmm. Kwan, Kwan, Kwan. Your two wide positions. Damari Gray and Bobby Reed. Damari. <laughs> I knew. I knew somebody wouldn't be Bailey. So why? Why? What? Wh what? What gave you um that reason, um boss, to go with that wing wings? You're, you're speaking to me? Yeah, of yeah. course. Of course. Okay. <laughs> so you would have I would have heard. I'm going to sound like um, um, Adams. So. Yeah, I'm going to Adams, man, the great Kwan, you know, aka uh -huh. Adams, Renito. Um, Adam, <laughs> Kwan, what say you? <laughs> All right. Bobby Reed always performed for Jamaica, and he also performed at his club in that position well, better than Bailey. Bailey hasn't shown up for Jamaica. In a game up and up until now, Bobby Root Reed always execute, always give his best. And in his in in his last game, he, he out we are Bailey. So, Bobby Reed deserved that starting all over Leon Bailey, and he also can play a multiple position from different different from Bailey. Bailey is only a right winger. He doesn't look good at left, neither at striker when Aston Villa using. So, okay. um, stand out in that position for me. Okay, cool. I need a wait in the high Hold on there. I'm Jamie Kanguna, left and right midfielder. Let me see who you're going to go for now because you have to drop on a big ball of them. Um, and give a reason. Bailey <laughs> and um, Jamie Kanguna. Jamie yes, Kanguna. Yes, sir. Me have, me have, me have bigger the opportunity just for, uh, just for <laughs> breaking away, I say. I have, I, I, I carried them all right, Gray, because. This is my message to Bailey. You come on the field in the 70th minute, and if you do not play better than the Marai Gray, you are subjecting yourself to the second person. So this is it. You have to come out, come lace the field. So that's why I start with, with Gray. Okay. All right, continue. Okay, so uh, me, I, would start, I would start Bailey on the left, um, and I would start... Bobby Reed on the right. Um, why I would start? Why I would start Bailey because uh, we're talking about international football. Are we talking about an experience? Um, plays a, a role. I don't think he has performed for Jamaica in terms of his expectation. What we expect of him, um, the quality player that he is. We haven't seen that from him for Jamaica. I'm hoping that this is the one that he him forward good. 
Um, and why I would play him on the left is because we have tall strikers. We have strikers who are able to head the ball. So I think him playing on the left, um, we'd be able to whip in some crosses. And uh, like he used to play at Genk, when he was, was at Genk, he used to play on the left as well. So I'm... Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I would, that's my and of course Bobby Reed. I think Bobby Reed picks it. Bobby Reed had a stellar season at, at Fulham this year. One of the best better players for Fulham. So definitely is in my in my starting side. Okay. Do you see me answer already? You gave your answer? No, no. Okay. Um, my wingers similar to some others is um Bailey and Bobby Reed. Um, okay. I think when you look at the the three like attacking midfielders that I would have um been Bailey, Gray, and Bobby Reed. They're very interchangeable. So for that reason, I kind of like that setup. Um, so even though I said Gray is the cam, you know, at any point in the 90 minutes, it might be Bobby Reed as the cam, it might be Bailey as the cam. I would I would want them to not be so static in those roles. So that is the that is the reason why I went for those three in those three spots. A warrior says Bailey have to start. So what what, what do you mean by that, Bart Warrior? So what, why is not we have to win the game? Why does it have to be Bailey have to start, Warrior? <laughs> All right, so let me go up and pick the strikers now, and then we have a, a free lunch 15 minutes. Guys, let me know the likes total. If we don't hit 100 or 150, we know so we've done the show even before the two hours. So let me know the likes total, people, because me not have another phone working. So I'm trusting you guys to tell me the accurate information, you know, and not tell me foolishness. Yeah, so um, the striker, who are we going with, Jason? Then we'll start uh, with Jason. Cap Captain Jamaica. And um, out of the person that they selected, why you went for Captain Jamaica? Over uh, Shamar. Shamar well, played well the last time. Right. Yeah, um, for, for me, I think I think right now he's, he's just clearly the best of the three. Um, you know, he's a player that I think, obviously, we've seen from his appearances for us can make something out of nothing. Um, you know, basically, almost every goal he scored so far besides the penalty. He had to beat seven man or shoot from five hundred yards and score a goal. So um I just think when when you're looking when you're looking at that forward um in that lone striker role, you want it definitely to be somebody that might give you that moment of magic. Um not to say that Shamar or um Jamal Lo, who I have as my other forward, can't do that. But I think on a more consistent basis you'll get a better performance out of Antonio. I think he's the best when it comes on to bringing the other players into play. And when you factor in the type of midfield that I have chosen, um, he's going to be able to bring them into the game with his, with his strength and holding off the defence. So I, I would go with Antonio as my first option to start against USA. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. And I do agree with that, but I have to ask. Jamaica and Guna, what say you, big boss? Um, Mikhail Antonio starts as the striker for, for me. Um, uh, his reputation... Um, is 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 work ethic everything? He's just a quality player. He's our best striker available to us now. Okay. So I think we should start the best striker available to us now. Um, um, uh, consideration goes out um to 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 J Lo. I think he has had a good season. Um, out on loan. Um, mm -hmm. but he hasn't reached the heights of uh, Mikhail Antonio because he didn't even get. He didn't even make the Premier League squad. They, they sent him out on loan. So, Michael Antonio for me any day of the week. Um, as a Jamaica starter, once he's available, he should start. Oh, by the way, right. concrete and cement. <laughs> 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 All right. So, we have um, Martin. Martin. Um, up yeah, front. man. Um, as we, um, Jason Gona said, definitely Captain America. Captain, Captain Jamaica. Jamaica. <laughs> Definitely uh -huh. Captain Jamaica because right now I US we are gonna play in a J. Uh, Martin, yeah, Martin, we're not here. We're not here. You know, hear me? No, we just are here. We just are here. Yeah, so definitely um um, Captain Jamaica, man. Because we notice say uh, him can drop here yeah, in wall up play. As a crowd, we watch it in the EPL. He make many different line look. Most of the time, them a fee, they, 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 they can't stop him most of the time. So we want them that them trick the night game against US where 
we are player like Leon, uh, Gray, or Hutchinson. Player where we, we draw other players' attention on. Let's see. Let's go, Captain Amer um, Jamaica. Yeah, man. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. So, um, Kuan, um, who, who you say they striker? And they will bring him past the right answer. Yes, my striker is Jamal Law. Wow. Jamal okay. Law. Yeah. Okay, cool. And so, why, 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 why is that? Why is that? Yeah, let me, let me hear, let me hear this, Kawan. Let me hear this. Um, no, Reza Bean, Michael Antonio, you know, um, is a more strong, speedier forward, but playing against USA, you know, um, Jamaica not gonna possess most of the ball. They're gonna be on the back foot mm -hmm. in the first one. So, um, I will allow uh, Michael Antonio to come in second half when the game open up. And space is there for him to run up the defense. Because in the first half, when the game starts off, normally the midfield and team always play a more compact game and in the in their physical fitness at the more time. So um Mikel Antonio won't get that abundant abundant of opportunity up front. Yeah. But when the game keep um continue to go on and players start to deteriorate on the game. Space start to open up. I will mm -hmm. bring in Antoine so he will use that physical strength and speed to get by the defender. Because oh, okay. he will have no room to go. I won't because you cannot take off uh, Mikhail Antonio and then you put on Jamalo, which is a more slower type player. He, his his skill set is okay, but he's more slow. You want to put on some more speed player up front where they can. Um, apply more pressure in the latter stage of the game because you right. won't have that in the first part. We're on oh, team yeah. gonna build that 45 minute fitness and keep coming at you. So I will start Jamalu and then I will replace him with Mikhail Antonio second half. We are um players start to lose um fitness and game start to open up and so Okay, so anyone and because now we are going down to the yeah, mitigation. So anyone want to, to, to um yeah we we are, we have the floor is freelance. Yeah, 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 I just yeah. I just wanted to I just wanted to touch on something he mentioned about um I think he was saying that the reason why he would start low is because we won't really have much of the ball. Is that that's what he said, correct? Yes. Right, Kowani? Okay. So I want yes, to yes. I want to ask you I want to ask you, Kowani. Typically, when West Ham play in the Premier League, do you think they have more of the ball than the other team? It all depends on the side, the opponents. Sometimes they okay. have more. Some no, typically, typically, team. typically, um, typically, we are talking about like typically, like most of the yeah, time. Yeah, on average, 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 yeah, 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 on average. Like I know there are teams in the league, like maybe the ones that got relegated, that they might outpossess, but. On average, yes. West Ham plays a counter-attacking style, right? So what you were describing, I honestly feel I feel the complete opposite. I think Jamal Lowe would have a better time when the defense is tired than mm -hmm. Antonio. I think I agree. Antonio, I think Antonio's strength, and I said this, I don't remember, I think I was on JT's program, and I was saying that when it comes on to forwards who can gain possession of a ball when they are outnumbered by the defenders, I think Mikel Antonio is like top 10 in the entire world at doing that. Top 10? Right? I would put him top 5. And I'm, and right I'm just saying 10 to be safe, but yes, he could be 5 as well. But, so, so I don't know that the, the reason why, I'm not saying that he can't be on the bench. I'm just saying the reason that you gave, I am not so sure that is actually oh, a, a valid I, I, reason. I, 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 Based on your touch on West Ham, remember West Ham United have some player. They have the capable capability of holding up the ball. Can even play that positional base football. They they have those players, but maybe that's what the coach choose to do. But they have because Lucas Pocket and those type of play, player, they can play positional football. Mm -hmm. So when they play a counter attack in football, when they get the ball, they are not turning it over that easily. But when Jamaica get the ball, they they're gonna turn it over because Jamaica okay. don't have a system up, system up until now. 
that's why what Hal Grimm says there to put in place. Jamaica don't have a system yet. So um, you cannot compare Jamaica to West Ham. It's a totally different. Um, and uh, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I interject here, um, Sergeant Adam Abdams? All right. Oh. So uh, here's what I think now. I agree with, uh, who was it, Jason? I agree yeah. with him a lot. Um, West is not that far. The only thing is that West Ham is a more play the ball better than how Jamaica would have played the ball. Because as you mentioned, they are players like um a packet in it, but they play they do play a counter attacking um style of football. Um so so you can't say, oh, you know, um it's far off. No, it's not. Jamaica does play a counter attacking football. The only difference is we have been used to the wolf while we could actually play the ball like like like, like Tottenham play counter attacking football as well. You understand? So just because you play counter-attacking football, that means every time you pick up the ball, you hold the ball up, up, up feel and run it down. It means that sometimes you go, you go, you go. When the, once the side attacks you, that and 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 on their front foot, that is when you want to you want to push it the other the other direction and catch them and uh, catch them with less defenders down there. That is how counter-attack is. So it's not just one wolf the ball all the time, which is something that I think Jamaica think is counter-attacking football. A, a long pass is not the same thing as a long kick. So, um. Uh, Jamaica plays similar to West Ham. Long and short of the story, Jamaica plays similar to West Ham. We play to Mikhail Antonio's strengths, which is picking up the ball and breaking. And if you watch any of the conference games, them when playing, you will see you will see this in full in full view. It, it, right. it, it, really good at picking up the ball under pressure and push down everybody out of them way, out of the way. So when him play against the US, you, you, you have to look at um psychology to um. Um, Sergeant Adams, right? When the, the, you hear Americans talking about Jamaican players and they're talking about the danger men in the Jamaica side. And that is why the coach played um, Leon Bailey when people are saying they're not for play Leon Bailey. That's why the coach played Leon Bailey in a, in a, the last goal cup, you know? Because he wasn't playing the best football, you know? But because of the main fact, so when he pick up the ball, two, three players are going to mark him because they have him as a danger man. That takes out some other players out of position. Right. So similarly with 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 um Mikhail Antonio, he have name recognition. So when they hear a man talk about Jamaica side, they might talk about oh well, the Jamaica side is good. They have Ethan Pinnock and they have Leon Bailey and they have Mikhail Antonio. Because Mikhael Antonio is a man who I'm a real time player, but can push down some people and bully them and and, and, and as 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 um Jason rightly said, he's top he is top five in, in relation to holding up the ball under pressure. I don't think there are many stri um, strikers in the world which which better at him than that and keep in possession of the football when three four players are around him it, uh, under pressure. You know what I mean? So you wolf up the ball game, he might can hold it up and bring other players into play. So I I I I disagree with you. I think so starting we should have Mikhail Antonio for intermediate and do whatever, and then coming on would be um J Lo with more pace and you know with more direct. So I think so that is where we could we could probably pull an upset from the US. I am not taking um taking away any credibility from um, Michael Antonio. I know what he can do, but my pre because I hear here um people talking about J Lo have more space pace than Michael Antonio. I don't I don't see it. I don't see it. Michael Antonio is very fast and powerful, but to me um coming on second half when um you know he game open up, he will have more room to run run at the defender. Defender would be more weary down at that time. So you would have that powerful fitness fit um person coming in to run at you and you know they scare him already. So Adams, in, and, and, and from zero to sixty, J Lo is quicker than Michael Antonio. Michael Antonio is not no slouch. I can tell you that. But because Michael Antonio move is all right. One is a Ferrari and one is a trailer. Who oh, no. um, know? That is Adam's, that is what I mean. I you use. know what? I I all I all run. You know, Adam's thing same no fast. Now I I emotion. I believe him. Uh, me stand as the speed. Uh, 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 low, you know. uh, no, I I I I low. No, my low quick man. Him run. Him quick. Yeah, I do. I, him I, I fast, fast man. Him really one is a fast. Ferrari and one is a trailer, my brother. Yeah. You see, Michael Antonio. Him is a trailer. So when he move, you see him a move because uh, him so powerful. But. Um, low is quick in terms of I'm um, zero to sixty. Low is very quick, man. Is 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 very quick. Um, but the last time I told people that um I don't think that Liam Bailey them is fast faster than low, and people people never people never yeah. actually knew how fast him is because yeah, they saw him in a different position. 
But in fact, I'm glad. I'm glad when that you Jamaican Guna brought up Lowe's Jamaica, Do you see him with that pace? Which game he played for Jamaica where he exploded on that pace as you're no, talking about? Against, against the same game. play? You want no yeah, one? You want yeah, no one, Kwani? You want no one? That quickness. He did, Maybe he's for Jamaica you, because you, I mostly watch him for Jamaica, so I'm not going to run yeah. down and say he's not quick. But based on the game no. he play for Jamaica, I don't see him yes. utilize okay. that. Yes, okay, so Kawani, yes. Kawani, let yeah. me tell you the game that he did it, no? The first time we saw Jamal Lowe play for Jamaica, I want you to look back on the goal that he scored in that game. That's in, tell you, me in, against the US, United States. Yes, United against States. the same team we're about to play. Look at that mm -hmm. goal, Kwani, and you tell me say he never show you pace from the play there. And most the skill set I use, he, he use some quick um, footworks. Kwani, um, Kwani, Kwani, just hear what I'm saying. Kwani, you don't have a raw pace in you, my bro, against Kwane. the USA, raw pace. Brother, the man run down a ball where he never have no business a catch and then put the ball in the goal. Kwani, he, he's as fast as everybody on Jamaica's team. Yeah. Nobody on Jamaica team is faster than him. None. The whole of them are fast players. He, he's Luna just said a great example. Ferrari, look, Leon, just smooth. Le, look, Leon Bailey is shorter, so it looks like he's moving faster. But I'm you, telling you, both of them moving fast. He's I not... Motion, I trick him. I, I play a motion, I, 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 I trick um, Adams, man. Or, or him look yes, at the motion, but him... If I, if I put them on a field and a test run, you'd have see the difference. Um, yeah, man, 100 yeah. meter. You'd have see yeah, difference in our 100 meter race. Uh, agree. Kowani, agree. Yeah. And next thing, and next way for check Kowani, if you know, say, if we are trying to sell our dream, look on any scouting metric around the world and type in Jamal Low name and then put in another player who you think fast and then look on them pace attribute and see which part Jamal Low they compare to them. Jamal Low is a fast player. That is actually one of his attributes that people would have point out as something is a pacey player that that's literally how he's described so i don't know <laughs> yes. how this narrative of him being slow even start you know? I, no, I, I i think this narrative comes from um a lot of people a lot of people and that's why i said it, it's very important you know because when you hear the people talk about talk about the team um talk about the team it's like them don't watch a player them bossy them don't really know nothing about the player them. And that's why I'm very much I'm very much mindful when it comes on. Um, um I'm very much mindful when it comes on to me feeling comfortable with anybody can be be around the team and picking the team. You know, because I just believe that a lot of people in Jamaica don't take football serious because they don't know. I heard even people close to the team when they do talk about football, I'm on there one what what's going on? Like you guys really take the time out to figure this out, and then you guys can be in selection pro, pro, pool and them stuff there. But re, that that's one of the points that's damaging Jamaica as well, you know. Um, Jason, because a lot of people don't know the qualities of the players, you know, and they have the players, you know, physically saw the players, them and don't know, and that's why I came yeah. out the wrong selection. So I'm just glad that a coach came in that is um trying. So let's see if they actually use them to their best of their abilities because yeah, uh, these guys are, are very good guys. They're just not evaluating properly. And that's why people miss yeah. out on Pinocchio and those guys. That's, exact, that's guys exactly true. Fast. That's exactly true. It's very when true. Our talent, yeah. our talent evaluators, I'm not going to say they don't have no sense, but it, there is, it, it's a, there's a disconnect between how they evaluate certain players from other players. I'm yes. Now getting you know, what the differences are because that's not important, but there is definitely certain metrics that are used for some players, and then we turn around and use different metrics to, to judge the same position just because it's a different player. So the talent evaluation needs to improve in Jamaica. I totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Just looking at it, man. Um, guys, please do smash a like button. Get us up to one fifty. Don't know if we are at one fifty uh, so far. Or we are twenty away of one fifty. So anyone that did not eat like button, please do eat it. So we will go to one fifty. Yes. Yeah, so we want to look at the game itself now. So we are around, around the computer so we can properly analyze the thing because um outside it get too dark and you know we don't want to get lost outside. You know. <laughs> um, Bringing, bringing, must. Uh, oh, oh my god, this is very liars. <laughs> um, people definitely smash the like button, um, definitely subscribe, yeah, man. Um, 
the game now we're gonna bring up the thing for the game um guys the game the game coming up the big game against the united states um oh yes uh, after we we, we we pick our team we pick our team right we pick our team uh what you expect what because we're gonna do the, the two and a half hours what you expect um to, to happen in this game jason even with a with a much more lighter united states team 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 uh, expected to be there well well at the end of the day um i guess it will come down to a lot as you say the level of the usa the usa selection um you know some people that follow the united states are telling me that you know the nations league will be the one with all the internationals are the ones in europe and the the gold cup will be a more mls heavy and, and mexican league heavy squad um but i don't think we should take that for granted because we saw we played a predominantly mls usa team in the last world cup and we could not beat them so i don't think that that necessarily means that you know I, um it don't really bro mean anything, I'd, I'd, I mean? I'd say them win i'd say the, the, the uh, uh, usa c team win. yes yes they were the champions yeah go ahead yeah, continue so, just yeah so so i mean look the game is going to be difficult there's no question about it um regardless of what what version of the USA um, comes to Soldier Field that evening? Um, you know, Jamaica is going to have to play at a at a at an impressive level to get a result. Um, so I wouldn't put too much stock in. You know, they won't have Tyler Adams and they won't have Western McKinney and they won't have Musa and they won't have this and that. You know, they'll still have players that are on the fringes of moving out of the MLS if they're making the team, and they have proven that in this Gold Cup um, tournament. Regardless of if they get their European players or not, they're still very formidable. So, um, you know, we need to we need to go into this game, you know, with a with a with a clear plan, and we need to try to execute that plan because I think we're not going to be able to just beat this team off our of individual brilliance and things of that nature. We're going to mm -hmm. have to have a ninety minute, a clear ninety minute plan and try to execute it if we want to win. Um, and you know, anytime you get into a tournament like this, you know, everybody was kind of upset that we're playing USA first. I kind of look at it a little different, you know. I, I actually like the fact that we're playing them first because, you know, this version of the USA probably wouldn't have played any games together yet. So maybe getting them earlier, they haven't worked out everything as yet. Maybe the coach don't know his best team. So I think there could be positives to the fact that we're playing them first. And since we actually have a camp leading into it, we might be a little bit more prepared because their team would be playing Nations League. And that means the coach of that team won't be with the team for the Gold Cup. So there could be advantages to the USA picking a different team. Um, so we'll see how it play out. But I, I just I just I just know say we need to be ready for that first game if we want to get something out of it. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Uh Martin, go ahead and then just Jamaica gonna can go ahead after. Yeah man, um based on my analysis for the first game and when I look forward to and expect against USA as we um Jason said, I look forward to most of the t USA team will be mostly um, MLS players and few of the international players. Them. So I look forward for a great game. You know? I look forward for a great game um, with the quality and the level where we pick. I see a lot of opportunity um, in the attacking line. I see a lot of strength in the defending line. Um, the midfield always uh, one of our biggest problem, but the midfield kind of can me, me can't see it uh, uh, across the line. Me can't see it across the line. So we just need to go there for fight. To be honest, um, Grimmy have two friendly games. He might have the squad. Uh, Austria go uh, motivate the guys. They must put some plan. When I like with Grimmy, him love say him love watch videos. I always say him love watch team. So I expect some tactical thing in a Jamaica team right now. I not expect no woof and no. Me, me I wonder where I watch. I expect some things where we, we, we are look and I ask for for over how much years now. So I excited first match to me. Me excited about the US uh, match first. I'm not disappointed and not very excited and we we'll hope the boys them can cross the line, but it will be very tough. Um, but definitely a, a, a good match for start at. 
So that are just my few words for the US. Okay, so um, Jamaica and Guna. All right, so I'm going to say something now where world people are going to disagree with. Do you know that I think, sir, this is the match where we can beat the US? I think this is the match where we can beat them. I think they're disorganized at the moment. I think they're in a rebuilding phase. Um, um, there's a lot of people who are not convinced by the... Uh, I, I think they, they want... Beralta is still there, right? No, 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 no. Is not no, here. they have a they have an interim manager now. It's not Beralta. Okay, cool. Right. So there so there you go. So Beralta can Beralta um time up. So I think they're in a this I think they're in this array now. I think if we're gonna beat the US at any time, this time would be the ideal time to do it. Um on our end we have some pluses. We have um Mikhail Antonio coming off a great season. We have Bobby Reed coming off a great season. We have Demarai Gray coming off a great season. We have Bailey coming off a decent season. We have Pinnock coming off a great season. So then and there, we have probably about five starters in our side who have had very good seasons, good farm coming into this competition. Um, and if you check the, the, the team, maybe we have like eight core players who have been there in the last Gold Cup. So they have the experience of being there. Um so I think I think if we're gonna if there's any if there's ever a time when we're gonna beat the US, I think now would be the time to do it. They're they're in transition. So I think so we can hold them and book them on them eating our one love um this time around. But that is that's what that yeah, that's that's it. I think so this is the time when we can I think we're gonna beat the US one love. I think I'm 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 looking forward to that happening, but I want to reserve the full judgment until when I see these two matches against um Jordan and um and and Qatar. When I see those two matches, then I can say, okay, we we know we know over there. But I am looking forward to this match because and I and I agree with the previous um panelists that I would want to get the US. I don't want to get them to get no momentum. I want to get them now when they're in this area. I don't want to, when they get no momentum and the ball, they're not train together and Jamaica you know? go. Jamaica go now. Um uh, and all them players now come from Nations League, you know. Uh, some of them have come over with the next batch, you know. So some of them are already come over with more games, you know, under them belt, you know. So them now go in and disarray at, as to what, what on the field. They are actually mm -hmm. rounded, um, ready, ready to play. No, wh why they're going to be ready to play is because they have a system. So even if players are out, other players that come in fall within that system. It's like a, a space that is that exists on the field where them man de, when another man jump out tight and gang and get get some food down the road and gang look girl, and then man climb in at the same same space and occupy that space. They have a system. We don't. We do not have a system. So that's our problem. But I think that's how I go beat. They might bring in, they might, and that will be to all the time when we play the US. They might bring in inferior players to their starting eleven, but those players are playing amongst a system when fall within the system and they know exactly what to do. So they might be less quality, but they know the system. So a man will know him job, but he, know, he is not the best at it. So um, in this point in time, in this exact time, no, no, no. When they're in transition, um, I don't think they're putting all their, their I don't think they're going all out for the, the Gold Cup. I think so them just out, use the Gold Cup to prepare for the Nations League, right? Because I think they want to win the Nations League. The Nations League is a FIFA competition. Um, so them who are win that, you know, next year and which hmm? nation league match I prepare for the next one coming? This, this one, oh, yeah, but remember that one before, you know, that one before the world cup, the gold cup starting, you know, so that I finish, you know, but you have a next one coming because that next one of a qualified, um, for the for the we, we call it just the, the the mix up thing between can come the ball and here, Cooper. yeah, 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 the confederation, something that one, me know you're talking, man, the one where I come. Um, me hear, you know, you, you go and me listen to some of the, the American vloggers them on YouTube and you hear all them talk. So I saw me, you know, because I didn't mean I listen to no because that's the next match coming up. So, you know, I mean, I listen to them to find out what's going on over this. And basically, they're saying the same thing that I'm saying. They're saying, basically, the side is organized now. Players, new players are going to be introduced. They're trying out some players now to save them players. They step up. New players that performed well in this, this, um... This MLS are rookie players. They are going to be called in for the Gold Cup squad. So I am looking forward to that. As I said, they have a system. We know. 
So I'm looking forward to that. And I think so we can cause an upset, a upset this time around. Okay. Um, Dean says, um, this, this side would be very good. I, and we have a lot of players on the bench as well, even better players on the bench, but some of them has to integrate. So it would be a very good side. I think this side would put Jamaica up there as firm top four in quality straight throughout, you know. Uh, we know that a midfield is our issue. And when I'm looking at it, you know, it's only maybe one position in, in midfield is our issue, to be honest, you know. Um, don't want the boys to underestimate them based on who they think they are bringing. The USA will bring will be bringing them best players. Yes, I think that's the way we have to approach it. We can't go there and say we are going to break down um, less players and this and that. Iris is going to be definitely dangerous. I, I do believe, I do believe Jamaica have a good chance beating him a you know, uh, good shot and guys we have to understand beating us all right yes that is that is good it nigeria beat um um, um italy italy is in the semi-finals now nigeria gone home so it's a, it's, it's a tournament it's a tournament it's a tournament and not anything to just kill yourself so you can't go out in one game and then um you can't go out in, in one game and then get, get, throw away everything in one game. You have to take your time and, and, and build as it goes, you know? Yeah, so that's what I would say, to be honest. But I think Jamaica, and if we can feel these players, if these players, which we, which you know, it's Jamaica. Yeah. I would be shocked. I would be shocked if all of these players go on the field, even if they're in the starting. Even if they are actually there, I, am, I would be shocked if I'd all of them be on the field. I just feel like we have other underlying ties that we can't put the best players on the field. Something will happen yeah. and we're not going to see that. Was cause, that was cause us not to put out our best team. Um, but look, look, JD, I see a, I see a commenter saying that um, Jamaica's team is fairly new. No, it's not. We have had what? Let's say Blake, Lowe, um, 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 Ethan Pinnock, um, um, midfield, we'll have Ravel, DJ, that's what six players already. Mm -hmm. Um, Shamanic has up front, but he may not start. But we have we have Michael Antonio, didn't play a gold cup for it. Um, Leon Bailey. So we have seven players, and um, Bobby Reed, that's eight players we have from our previous gold cup. So they have experience of the gold cup. So it's not a fairly new team, um, Julie, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's a team that is experienced in the gold cup and. That is what I'm banking on, you know? That is coming in are not weak players. They are high-profile players playing for big clubs. So once they come in, it's not going to be hard for them to adjust. Uh, one Dan said, Jamaica is better than Mexico, United States, and Canada. We are just in, not consistent. Um, one Dan, no, we are not better than United States or Mexico and even Canada as well. All of them better than Jamaica and the Rastas as well. Because remember, we're here fighting to fight midfielders. We have a bunch of defenders which are high quality. That is true. That can compete with all of them. And we have a starting set of forwards that can compete with all of them. But their depth in those areas are very good and their midfield is ridiculous ridiculous their midfield is on european level when you come on to quality because they have 50 and 60 million dollar players that they can take off the bench and put on the field so one done i think you underestimate the quality of the kanka calf but their teams are not normal <laughs> so don't, jamaica just have to keep get these guys to keep up with what's going on and that's why when the guy made that statement the other day people have to be looking at him three sides like brah you don't know what's really going on in in football you get me one done so we are not better than united states and we are not better than mexico uh but we have the potential to rival them they are they are improving faster especially united states because united states not waiting on mls players they are just going for the best players then anywhere you come from and you have a touch you have a touch a, a dna from united states you will be playing for there oh ironic for Jamaica, when you have a touch of DNA, you should not play for Jamaica. <laughs> so, so one yeah. done. <laughs> I understand what you're trying. Yeah, if I add something to that, um, mm -hmm. yes, this is my view. I think, I think, in terms of player versus player, let's put it player versus player. We're nowhere near. Okay. Yeah. Um, organization. We're nowhere near. Yes. Um, amount of players available. We're nowhere near. So there's no metric that says Jamaica is better than the USA. Yes, I don't um, think it's an accurate statement. I, none at all. They have so let us check it. How many Jamaicans are playing in a top five league across the world? We have Mikhail Antonio, we have 
um and to, um we have four i think who is playing in a top five league or across the world four um rupert michael antonio bailey bobby reed them four they are playing in premier league cool we not have no more in our top ten our top five league across the world none we don't have four if you check mexico and if you check um the usa if they're not playing in the Premier League, they're playing in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a league which is in, in the top five. Either the Spanish league or, or the French league or one of those leagues who in the top five. So we're, we're in terms of the, pl the players available to us and the quality available to us, we are nowhere near them as yet. Probably we have about four to five elite level players and them have about 12. So we're not near them yet. Um, neither of them are Mexico. Canada now. Canada is a team I think we're comparable with Canada in terms of the players them available to us but because them have maybe five elite level players too so i think yeah they're we're comparable to canada canada canada's, so, canada's two elite level players are two? The, no, the, them have um, alfonso the, davis hold on hold on jamaican two elite level players are the best in their position in the in, in, in the Concacaf. alfonso davis and the, jonathan david they are the highest rated players and the best players them in those positions. So I'm saying, even though they have five elite players, they have good level players that can compare with our next level players them. And the next three are below our Kankak of high standard, but the next two, the top two, is the best in those positions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The best left back are Alfonso Davis and the best striker, in my opinion, are David for true. That's true. Um, but we so so you understand, so we're comparable with them. We're not seeing bad part, but in terms of US and Mexico, dog, we're not knowing near them and the brother. That's what that's what I tried to explain um to them that yes, they are they are top level. All right, yes. Um John Mark said um if Gray was from US, he would start in US um start it's the US team. It's possible, you know, but remember, you know, that does not say Jamaica is this team because if Gray can start over um um Bobby Reed. Grace can start over Leon Bailey. It's just what the coach thinks. You get me? So he would have brought something new to he could he would have brought something else to the United States. That's what we'd have said. Um, um oh he could start over Polisic, he could start over Way, he could have started over um uh, Aronson, he could have started over majority of them. You get me? So yeah, it is what it is, but that does not say we have a better team than them because we can find one player um in it. Um, but all of them can be benched as well because you have players capable of starting over any one of them. You understand me? So we, we, why are we so we so kill, killed up of we being the best team? We just want to be the actual team that set, set together um, and, and be um, be a, a system and you play better. Because over the years, Honduras and El Salvador, um, we, we have been getting better players than them, them now. But we seem to can't beat them on a regular basis. They have a better record uh, over us than we have over them you now. You realize that? But yet still, for, for years now, since 1998, we, are, we have been bringing in quality players. You get me? But yet still, we can't, we can't, we, we can't do nothing better. So yeah, it's a give and take, people. All right? All right. So... um. Let me just get the rest of, the rest of them. Um, Fabian Fuss says, um, Bell, Pinock, Bailey, Antonio, and Reed um, in the EPL, yes. Plus, um, I just add, add in Balagan, which, yeah, they, they are at $450 million, and we are at $100 million. So that tells you. You get me? You get me? So that tells you one at 400 million and one at 100 million. So it's very hard, even though people always say money is not all. I think majority of the players them that are better and higher valued play better than the guys them that are cheaper. Unless it's just coming out of a breakthrough something. I don't think scouting is so bad where in which a man go value 50 million and the next man play football for 17 years and value 5 million and he's better. It's very hard to happen. You understand me? The Eat and Pinocks of the world and Eat and Pinocks still up to a market value of 12 million. You understand me? Yeah, JD. You know yeah, what? Yeah. What I like to add to my bro. Um, you know that when it, the more that we talk about it, right? <laughs> in terms of play, in terms of player availability, and the and the quality players that we have, why is it that we not go every World Cup? 
Yeah, but think, look at it, no JD man. Me remember, you know, the last World Cup, you know, Costa Rica go a World Cup left Jamaica, you know, yes. and we, in my opinion, Jamaica had a better, have, have, have had better players than Costa Rica, you know, in terms of the, the 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 player pool available to each country. I think Jamaica is ranked at, at it maybe tied at third, you know. If you look yeah. at it, you know, yeah, we tied with Canada at third. I, I know, I don't think it, Canada is above, above Jamaica in valuation. How much, how much elite level players them have? Um, um, elite play, level players that, that Canada would have. Um, you would have Jonathan, Jonathan, no, you have Jonathan David, the two, the two elite, elite them, mm -hmm. Alphonse Davis, Alphonse Davis, and then you have yeah. Kyle Lauren, Kyle Lauren, yeah, Lauren, Lauren, um, Ustakio. Um, Ustakio is maybe the best midfielder in in Kankakaf. So Ustakio uh, make, makes it. I I never even put him as elite. All right. So let me let me let me, let me not just let me just put it up here. Make you see. Um, they they have a ridiculous pool, man. Canada pool is bigger than Jamaica pool as well, guys. Uh, so let me. They, they are not just here by mistake. Don't don't listen to the man Lord telling people that it's a be a game, be a draw. Um, um, Canada draw game. It's not real. Canada is a bigger team than Jamaica. And it's not by mistake why they are there. We have to give them their respect um, as well. So we're just going for the elite level players, them that um um they have they are they're valued 246 million while Jamaica value a hundred and million. So the elite level players that they do have, um max the goalkeeper is still considered as good enough. Um, but this is Bojan, considered as good enough, but we're not gonna put him in it. Um Kemar Miller. Um, he, he would have considered as a, one of the better players then because his market value is up there and his performance is up there as all of our centre backs. Then he comes in at four million dollars, so he would have been on it. Um, let me show you who else I would put in it. Um, what's his name again? Victoria getting too old, but he's still a good player. Alphonse Davis made, made two. Um, Adi Kobe um, is a good player, very, very good player. He's at um, Galatasaray um, at this point. He's a left back, so he's one of their elite level player Right there, Alistair Johnston jumps from 500,000 to 6 million, just won it with Celtics. He's an elite le level player. Richie Laie still um, struggling to do his thing, uh, but he's a good player. I wouldn't put him in the elite bracket. Um, Petit, I wouldn't put him in it as well. Hutchinson is 100 million years old. Ustakio comes in at 10 million. Kone really improved. He's at 10 million as well. Um, so he's up there as well. Um, Osario is a quality player. If we're going to talk about our players, he would have got, come in in a batch of elite player. Art Anthony K, I wouldn't say that. Um, then we have our winger boy, our winger boy. Let me give you his name right here where he is. Um, Tajan Buchanan. Um, he is an elite player, one of the best in in, in Kankakaf. Yeah, I'm not a baller that man, but can I'm not a baller. Um, in Kankakaf, Islet is still respected um, as a quality player in the region. And then you have to go back to the the big money one them, the big three, and Ugbo from Chelsea. He is 24. He's an elite level player for this level. So look out for him. And Daniel Jebison, I he's a quality player for this region. Yes, so, so I would put him in it as well. With so yeah, they have one, um, two, three, four, five, Ustakio six, seven. Um, I, I'll, I'll, I'm on ten elite level player they have on the field. Ten. So um, uh, yeah. So Jamaica up there with them, but they have some very very good players. It's not by mistake these yeah. guys. I'm going yeah, that means it's here, JD. I'm say we'd be close to them. We, uh, we me, me feel like we're tied with them because I think we have 10, 10 players in, in, in we're playing in, in, in good leagues across the world. We have a, we have MLS two top MLS players in, in Low and um and um and Blake. Um mm -hmm. we have a Chelsea player, we have um we have four players playing week in, week out. Um now gonna be five. Um that is um including Bell. Um, so that would make us what seven. Um, we have Shamar Nicholson, that is eight. We have a player playing at Dynamo Kiev, even though he's not playing for Jamaica. Um, that is nine. If you're gonna put um, those, if you're, Paris, gonna put Kaim Paris, if you're gonna put Kai in Paris in it, then then Canada have 20 elite players then because all, all, almost all them players here, um, above uh, Kai in Paris, above, above, um, above, um, above, um, Dynamo Kiev. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah no, they are above Ka Kaim Paris's level. Yeah, I, I would still say that. Yeah, you have oh. more than the players on this list. So, above, above okay. Um, so we have what we have, we're going seven already. So, we have to go tell you that to go to Paris. We still have Corey Burke there that's gonna be that, that's playing at a good oh. level as well. You put Corey um, Burke. Everybody on the team, um, for Canada, um, I try to political correct, <laughs> it don't work for at all. All right, so, um, we have, um, so some of uh, as me, I said, we have some really good. So, I, I, me personally, I would put them, I would put Jamaica tied with, with Canada or be at fourth, it doesn't matter, but I don't think like Honduras, El Salvador, all of those teams, Costa Rica, I don't think at this moment in time they have a better pool of players. Than, than us and that is 100 percent facts all the other teams um should not um surprising you remember we told you that suriname is actually in the top five is rated teams so jamaica jamaica dropped down to fourth no no jamaica dropped down to yes to fourth um canada united states and mexico and and, and jamaica at fourth and then suriname after so it shows you how far the other teams are at. But that does not say um that, that does not say um all of those five teams should be qualifying because I think Surin I have a hard time for qualifying. And I think Jamaica will have it hard as well because remember everyone else has different challenges. You understand me? Yes, yeah, so that's what yeah, it is. You think Surinam Surinam does puff a lot and then then when a the time comes to execute them and do it. Well, we can say they have the same, have the same belong. Them, no, them, Eight, no, it I think 80, 80 plays better than Suriname and Jamaica because of, as to what they have, they don't have the luxury as what we have, and Suriname and Jamaica don't deliver. Think Suriname is much, much younger. I would blame I would put Jamaica as the team that does not deliver. Out of Suriname, Jamaica, and 80, I would put Jamaica at first that does not deliver because Jamaica had more quality for way longer. From 1998, we have been getting qualities. You have been having quality players. You come straight up the line. We found ways not to play them, to get a new coach, chort all of the quality players them that we did well with and said we are going to start with different man. So we have been fighting between core players, local players, and overseas players from 1998. So be honest, Jamaica was the worst performing team with the quality that, that they should have. Just like what they said and 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 ES, oh, ESPN. Yes, ESPN yeah, football. Yes, That's yeah. what they said. Every year, these guys bet on Jamaica to qualify. Every year, because they know the quality of the players them. But they themselves don't know Jamaica, Jamaica story. And they are saying, but every time we expect these players to come, they are not turning up. And these are Americans. So believe me, Jamaica is the most um, underperforming team in Kankakaf, Kan 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 pretty much, because everybody bet on them. Would you guys agree or disagree? Um, me agree, you know, JD, um, because when the ESPN man said, boy, he not even know where Jamaica will come with today. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, you watch, you we watch have the quality. Yeah, me watch it. We, the man say we have the quality, but we do not, but we have the quality, but we don't know where to find the field. The man say, no, know what kind of Jamaica I will get. So it's sad for you. The world I watch, um, me watch JFF, no, say, the world I watch Jamaica and the world expect Jamaica for the good. So when me here, you know, I lead with it, but when me a man like Williams, I say, we know, he ain't want to focus on the World Cup. The world I expect for Jamaica, the Kanka Calf region, I expect for Jamaica to come up. But as me say with Grimmy right now, me have, me have my hopes and I agree me alone make me a cling on the football right now, to be honest. So, and the players then where we are get. So we will see. Uh, whole Grimmy program bring me to 2026. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, okay, so people actually agree. Um, we people actually agree. Jason, um, let me finish on the point there. Jason and Jamaican Gona, what you have to say on the point there? Because you bring it up in a Jamaican Gona and, and you get both buff, you know, because <laughs> <'cause laughs> it's it, it, it not going to favor. <laughs> eh? No, man, we still believe, but we believe in it. We just believe that Jamaica is like. Fourth, third, or fourth in the Kanka Cup. No, we, 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 we agree with that, but we are oh, saying we disagree. The, disagree. Jamaica is the, the poorest performing team in um, Kanka yes, uh, yes. In terms of expectations, bro, easily. Nobody could dispute that. Anybody who really okay. love and appreciate Jamaica can't dispute that. You have to know your abilities and you have to know your, 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 your capabilities. 
we're capable of accomplishing way more than we have done. Way, way, way more. And this is the point that I was making. I'm saying to you that based on what the, the rules have been changed to, to include four teams from 1998 come up the line. And we have always been the team where have the big pool of players. We have a, a, a Premier League winner in our side. And when the World Cup done and, and, and thing and the man ring Premier League and everything, the man them decides to like call back the man. The man will win the Premier League, the number one league in the world. Cool? The man them decides to them not call back the man when the man still play by long, long after. Cool? All right, cool. So that is a problem that has been plaguing Jamaica ever since. It's not, it's not the players them that's available to us. It's the administration. And I will quote Wambala. He says, if Jamaica does not qualify, he said, if Jamaica does not qualify for the World Cup, it's, not the, it's, it's because of the JFF. And that's where the problem lies. The problem lies in the administration. Because they're going to try to bully some people into doing certain things. So I'm hoping that Grimmy can say, all right, listen, my bro, this is the side of my war. This is how I'm going to play. This is the system I'm going to play. And I'm going to interfere with him and tell him, say, I'm going to include a player. I'm going to include a player. So I'm just hoping to see the, the strongest Jamaica side possible that we can put out um, that can beat the U.S. in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, um, in a, in a, in a, in a upset. Okay. All right. So this is where we end it, guys. All I'm saying is, I am hoping, but I have no faith in none of these guys around the JFF or who claim that they are around the JFF. I just believe that it's always just a corruption then. And um, they are just going to talk a lot, you know. But we have the players then. Um, we want to see what this coach is all about. And we are going to just wait and see. So we have done our time here. Thanks, everyone. that it like when Hopefully, we get over 150. If it hasn't haven't been there as yet, so definitely smash it. Yes, but we have to talk as how it is. They have not shown us anything else that we expect different from um, Jamaica. But um, it's always going to be a corruption and people looking for their own self-interest and mask it as if, like, they are really doing something for Jamaica. You understand me? Yes. Yeah, so, but all I'm hoping for is they, even when they're giving, they're rubbing, uh, which they are going to, they still actually try and pick the right team so we can get something out of it, which is qualifying. All right. So, yes. Yeah, so smash ma smash the like button. M uh, Martin, Jamaican Guna and Jason Guna, massive respect. We have to finish here. We said we had the two or, or two hours that we give you guys 40 extra. All right. Yeah, man. So thanks yet again. Please do sub subscribe, share, and hit the like button. All right. Just you come in late, I'm mean, gonna extend it, big boss. All right, a long time there. No problem, no right. problem. One Jamaica. Yeah, man. All right, all right. Big up, big up.